All right, good evening, everyone. This is FGC UCLA's Collegiate Bruin Battle League, season number five, being held for KO15. You are now watching match day number four of our league. Tonight's league will feature several of our players because we have a stacked uh, slate of matches for you guys tonight. For those of you that are not up to date or just not, not familiar with Collegiate Bruin Battle League, um, Collegiate Bruin Battle League is basically a ranking league that we run for a multitude of different fighting games. Each season features generally a new fighting game that we haven't already run. Um, this season happens to be for KO15. We run the league in a series of three rounds, which are each ranked separately and aggregated into a collective set of ratings um, that are fed through to a Glico2 algorithm. And at the end of these three rounds, um, we will gather the basically cumulative ratings and use these to seed each player into the playoffs which is basically the final round the playoffs are a double elimination tournament style bracket where each player will vie for the title and the winner will receive some goodies uh, we'll call them for now courtesy of snk speaking of which um thank snk so much for supporting this league and our efforts to bring kof 15 to a multitude of different players within the Collegiate FTC scene on the West Coast. All right, I think that serves as a fair introduction to today's match day. So as mentioned before, we have a stacked plate ahead of us tonight. So I'll go ahead and show our first set of matches that will be played. So starting off today, or tonight rather, will be One Regret Beetle representing UCI versus Zenryoku from UCLA. And then our Second match following that will be One Regret Beetle versus KSA, whom will be representing U UW Tacoma. And then our third match will be Zenryoku versus Jub Jub, who's also representing UCI. Um, and then our fourth match will be Zenryoku versus Kento. Kento is uh, not a stranger to these match days. He's participated in every single one so far, and he'll be representing SFSU. Then our number five match will be Kento versus Jub Jub. Number six will be KSA versus Pondersloth, um, who you guys might be familiar from the commentary of the previous match days. He'll be representing EVCC. And then for our second set of matches, we'll be having Kinect go up against um, Kento. Kinect is representing UCI. And then we'll have Kinect face fight again against KSA, um, who is representing UW Tacoma once again. And then our ninth match will be Omiomai, who's um, our sole Cal Poly Pomona representative up against Ponderous Sloth. That's sure to be a good one. And then our 10th match will be Kento versus Ponderous Sloth. 11th one will be Ponderous Sloth versus Jub Jub. And then number 12, we've got a fresh face here in Ocean Map representing UCR, UC Riverside versus Zenryoku. And then our 13th match will yet again feature a new face in Rig Jace from SDSU versus Sarah the Hero from UCLA. Um, and that's not all. We've got um, a third slate of matches, which we hope to get to, but we'll see how time looks at this point. Um, basically, we're going to take a break at that point before we begin the third slate of matches. But uh, this break will feature a fun little activity that you guys might enjoy, and we hope that you'll be willing to give a shot as well. Um, more details will be explained as we get there. The 15th match will, or the 14th match rather, but numbered 15 on the schedule will be Ocean Mat versus Rig Jace. And then number 16 will be Charles, whom we haven't seen in a bit. I think we last saw him in the second or first match day, one of those. who will be going up against Alago. That's some good UCI on UCI action. And yet again, we'll have Charles go up against Connect for the, um, I guess, part two of the UCI-UCI uh, face-off. And then we'll have Ocean Matt from UCR go up against Storm Claymore. And then uh, and Storm Claymore is representing Pacific University. And then number 19 will be KSA versus Ocean Mat, and number 20 will be Ocean Mat versus One Regret Beetle. So a lot of Ocean Mat matches there, but uh, we'll be seeing the fourth slate of matches, which these ones, I almost, I'm almost, i almost 100% certain that we won't have time for these. But um, time allowing, we will have the Jacob Gauntlet. Jacob is representing Oregon State University, and he'll go up against the following four players, One Regret Beetle, Omi Omai, Jub Jub, and Charles. And then for our fifth slate of matches, you know, time allowing again, we'll be having the Wi-Fi Warrior Gauntlet. Um, Wi-Fi Warrior is representing Cal Cal State University. Is, is that how we say it? Cal State University San Marcos. I think that I think that's what that is. 
Um, but anyway, he'll be going up against Omiomai, One Regret, Beetle, Connect, and Charles. Alright, so that was a mouthful of matches, but I hope you guys will have a good time watching these, uh, the ones we get to at least. Um, but uh, we'll go ahead and get underway with the very first match of the day. Oh, you already played Storm Claymore and KSA. Okay, that's that's good to understand. Um, I'll have to look at these messages before we start, actually. But in the meantime, I brought on Pundra Sloth for yet again his wonderful commentary. Hello. Hey, how's it going, man? Going pretty well. Um, I must nice. admit I was in a scramble uh, for the schedule because there was a lot <laughs> of matches. Good, My goodness, dude. But um, You kept it together. I I'm proud of you. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Um, in the meantime, um, the two players that we're going to be seeing here are Wonder Grab Beetle and Zenryoku. Um, would you mind uh, giving a bit of a chat on what you think we'll probably see while I <laughs> attend to these messages? <laughs> yeah, I... Honestly, I can't remember what team they were. I remember Wonder Grab Beetle... He played Regal, though, right? I think he played Regal. So, that one's going to be interesting. Um, don't really have too much as far as what to expect other than I remember the names and I remember they play kind of wild so it's going to be going to be interesting um, doo -doo -doo. should be getting up here pretty soon yep yep um is, sorry is the screen share working by the way oh yeah hold on me a second okay. yeah a-okay okay. audio sounds not distorted no sounds good okay perfect Okay, uh, sorry about this, guys, um, but I think uh, we'll be ready to get started now. Um, let me... So, uh, a quick update to the schedule I showed just now. Um, for the third slate of matches, we won't be playing Ocean Mat versus Storm Claymore, nor will we be playing Ocean Mat versus KSA. So basically 18 and 19, we can cross those off. Um, I don't have a way to delete these from this image, I'm sorry, but uh, just basically we're just going to ignore those. Um, regardless, <laughs> let's go ahead and call the first players up. So, One Regret Beetle does play Rugal though, right? Like I'm not, not making that up. Or I they think, did at one point? I think maybe. I, I know for sure Kinect played Rugal, Omega Rugal, yeah. but um, I don't know about... One regret beetle. I, I want to say because that name so, that's I know the, like the first week of match days they played. I remember that name, and there's a lot of Rugals being played that week too. It was kind of wild. Yeah, true, true. Oh nope, Robert Ejnet and my okay. I think I remember him now. Yeah, I think it was the very first match day. We didn't see the Bijane, so this is actually the very first we've seen a Bijane this entire. Uh, set of match days it's which is insane because she is still stupid good right yeah I, I, honestly you know i mean given that she's not the iori level of popularity it's i guess mm. not too surprising yeah yeah okay regardless though the players are wasting no time <laughs> Ooh, just going at it you know i think geese could actually hang pretty well with with robert's owning fully which agree. doesn't really need to do it because there's rushing it down yeah, Zenroku's getting a lot of these JCDs in, which is a huge mm -hmm. advantage, but also, he doesn't really have that big of a life lead. In fact, the lives are relatively even for now. Yeah, all things considered. But, I mean, he's, he's using his normals really well. So even if he can't get a clean confirm, he's still kind of keeping, keeping that parity, at least. Yeah, it's been a lot of JCD it, but the first confirm will be from a nice two-tap Crouching Light. The Robert special. Mm hmm Oh, what a throw. Ooh, nice tech throw. Oh, fake the jump oh, in there. Yeah, I think he was trying to get get a DP out of him or something. Yeah, very smart. Um he'll need a real Oh! Oh, oh man. I was just gonna say he would was... need a really good hit, and that was almost yeah, it. Almost it. I think it just flinched just a second. Yeah. Right, Shermy Shermy should be able to clean this up pretty quick. Indeed. Yeah, one good touch. Oh. Oh. Let it rip. All right. Did that cross Ooh, up? That's it. Okay, doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah all right, we're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, moving on. So, Robert. Slain. Let's see how Bijanae. Now, 
Bijanae is very, very strong. We can talk a bit about her, um, what's changed. Basically, nothing's changed, as far as I can yeah. understand. Um, I think they, like, changed the epics, like, how good some of her buttons are, but, I mean, they're still really great. I think her jump, jump B is, like, not as easy to cross up with now. But... Mm -hmm. That's about it. But her damage is still Oops. just as good as ever, which we'll see here. <laughs> yep. And she still gets this Okizama. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Oh, empty low. And this should be it, actually. Okay, Hard just doesn't spend the super, I guess. Oh, ooh, that was cheeky. Went for some Harriet B shenanigans. All right. Yeah, regardless, I think there was just a bit of unfamiliarity from Zenryoku there, but for now, you know, the early the early kind of games are the information gathering games, so it's all good for now, as long as you can yeah, get the early sure. cleanup. I mean, if any character can do it, Iori can definitely definitely make this comeback. Absolutely, yeah. Five bar Iori, in fact. Yeah, but he's just got to check his toesies, man. He's got to block him. Ooh. Nice stack of pressure. All right, what's the... Good confirm, but I, f oh. I do want to see more meters spent there. Yeah, he, he's got to cash out, like, as soon as he can. Because, like, every second that drops is just less and less life he's going to get back. Oh, what a oh. punish. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. That is not the special I'd imagine the whiff, whiff punish, but hey, you know, if it works, it works. Yeah, honestly, a lot of KOF neutral is just about throwing something out, and you'll manage to whiff punish if, oh. if you have a good read on when, when stuff's going to happen, basically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, because, like... The, the pressure in this game's like so fake. Like, let's be real. It's it's fake pressure, but you're like trying to overload the person so much so your like fake pressure can work. Precisely. Precisely. Yeah, he's he's batting a thousand with these JCDs off with keys. Yeah, he's finding great he's spots to use them. Yeah. He's just, just not keeping his momentum up. The most important part is Zenryuk will have to start to get a gathering on in order to find his footing here, I think, is just to make Wonder Grab Beetle a bit more scared of pressing these buttons. Yeah, this is, this is definitely it, okay? Okay, that's one way to get started. Safe jump. I'm liking the offense so far. Oh, DP though. Oh, what a sweep, okay. All right, just close it out with a JB. Yeah. Uh, All right, so this will be a pretty healthy Robert going in, right? Yeah. Yeah, decently healthy Robert, but Shermie, honestly, I feel like she can get pretty close to killing this Robert in one touch. Just close to oh, two yeah. bars. Yeah, I think oh, two bars will definitely do it. This, yeah, this should definitely it. be the kill. Or, okay, maybe not with level one. Yeah, we'll need one more touch. Uh, almost. Probably just missed out on having enough for level two, but regardless, the yeah. missed hit confirm, which is very relatable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two B confirms. I don't know what it is. It's just it's tricky. Yeah, yeah. But all right, sure, we've got health. Okay, good way to start it off. Ooh, missed the command grab and got punished for it. Yeah, and honestly, I really love the willingness of Wonder Grab Beetle to press there. Was it? so scared as to not challenge the missed Oki attempt from Zenryoku. Mm -hmm. It's important early on, as we call it these like conditioning sorts of games early on, to show your opponent that you have no fear. Oh yeah. Like you 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 gotta be you gotta be scummy, like don't don't respect their frame traps unless they like, you know mash when you can and then learn, like, okay, cool. They actually have those. Yeah, exactly. All right, so in comes Yori, three and a half bars. Again, a lot of work to do. We saw Shermie getting a couple great hits on the Robert, but not much against the Bijanae. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be an uphill battle. But almost four bar Yori, like, I've seen some TODs, or darn near TODs with four bars Yori. I think it'd be fun. Absolutely. Oof, oh, punish, punish. indeed. And yeah, this would be really big damage. This combo does a billion damage for no reason. 
Oh, I think that... That was... I think that, like, is an accidental reset in that, too. Yeah. I don't think that was a combo. With the right rooting, it definitely should have killed, but... Yeah. Regardless, one more opportunity for... Okay, yeah, the chip. Yeah, it's chip. Well, okay. That that's good enough, I suppose. Well, we'll see for the first time this um, this Mai whether she's up for this task of finishing off Yori. I think if both people are playing like immaculate, it's gonna be like a two touch game. Actually, probably now a one touch game when Mai's in. But agreed, agreed. Yori could definitely two touch and get the and clutch out this round. I am saying one thing. I'm I I will say one thing. I'm frightened about Zenryoku's button usage. Very risky all throughout. He's throwing out these sweeps, these jump CDs, which can be very dangerous against Mai's buttons, especially in the air. Oh, oh yeah, you... My, Mai's butt, like, air buttons especially, are just, like, you can't contest. Like, you're at worst... Like, at best, you're gonna trade. Exactly. Oh, what a confirm. And that's gonna be all for the Siori. Oh, no! Commentator's curse! Oh, my goodness. Okay, wait, no, she's not Blue dead. Max. Yeah, she's not dead, but both of them in one touch territory. <laughs> we go do it, all right. Yeah, yeah, that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was kind of uh, some spaghetti towards the end, but you know it's fine. Um, I feel like Zenryoku is feeling a lot more comfortable now, so I think like we could definitely make this like a two-one, two-two type of game. Absolutely. Yeah, I guess that last round there, both players just had their opportunities, missed them both, and it was a matter of who had the read on the subsequent wake up, which one regret Guido had the better read of Zenry over there. But that's the other thing about KOF too, is like you you're gonna drop combos because the game's so fast, you're gonna you're gonna miss miss hit confirms. It's just all about like how you can keep your composure after you do that. Yeah, in many cases, you just gotta go GG's on to the next one. Don't even think about it for too long, because this game is too fast for mulling yeah. over these missed opportunities. You just gotta, gotta keep it going. Alright, speaking of opportunities, One Regret Beetle, nice confirms in the corner, has led to one touch area for oh, Beast, okay. and yeah, down he goes. Yeah, sure, we should be able to clutch this out pretty quickly, but almost two bars, like. It could happen. Yeah, given especially her fantastic buttons in neutral, especially to deal with Robert's air mm -hmm. buttons, um, I think this should be doable. Ooh, but we've seen Zenryu get hit by many of these cross-up JDs of Robert's. Yeah. Which, like, cross-up JD, like, JD is kind of a hard button to cross up with with Robert. Such a weird, precise timing, I feel. Yeah, for facts. Spacing. Speaking of which, great confirm. Oh, I imagine that was supposed to be a super cancel, but for now things yeah. are okay. Oh no, he's given too many opportunities. Yeah, what I'm noticing, One Regret Beetle is very willing to challenge Zenryoku on these grab attempts, on these overhead attempts. None of them have mm -hmm. succeeded at all every time Zenryoku's gone through. No. Them. Not at all. All right, Yori's got a long road ahead of him. Indeed, and not a good start either. Gets no. clipped by a Crouch B. Immediately. And then punishing the wake-up roll. Oh, he's getting a little antsy. Indeed. Okay, good DP. Put <laughs> a DP back. Uh, good DP, all right. And we saw one regret beetle respecting the 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 uh, retaliation DP as well, because Zenryoku known for doing a DP again after after <laughs> even if it doesn't work. Oh, those revenge DPs. Oof. Okay, nice. All right, that's one character down. Yeah, but this time truly a long way to go. I mean, mm -hmm. it has to be very clean. And even with the five bars, not really any room for mistakes here like this one. And mm. honestly, is this all? No, one more touch here. Almost. Oh, oh, oh. wow, that that kiss does a grip. <laughs> okay, excuse okay. me then. Uh, uh, Visionate. Definitely not surprising that she she can kill from that. But regardless, yeah. Wonder Grab Beetle would take it three to zero. I mean, that was that was definitely a good showing from Zenryoku. I think he just uh, had a rough time just getting going. But 
I mean, as we saw, especially in game two, like once once he started moving and actually able to like implement his game plan, he was able to take like actually take it to him as opposed to just getting stuffed. But yeah, I think I think also it it was just really it was really noticeable that Wonder Grab Beetle was just more comfortable. Um, he had yeah. a lot he had a lot more authority over which buttons would work and which buttons would win even despite the you know the early jcds that Jenner got in there um, at the very beginning i think one regret beetle managed to get those two b's in there managed to get those challenges against the throw attempts a few of them didn't work out but um some of them did work in one regret beetle's favor and then also there were a couple of um uh opera attempts against the overhead that zenryoku went for just yeah. didn't work out at all for Zenryoku in the way he intended but um that's a sign of you know a very attentive a very mm -hmm. um present-minded player so good stuff to one regard beetle for sure for sure do they play any other games do they play guilty gear or? in fact yes uh one regard beetle uh known known plus r fanatic uh maybe maybe fanatic okay. is uh you know he can probably say whether that's exaggeration or not but um, back when we had our plus R XVX, um, wink, wink, check it out guys. But, um, anyway, back when we had the plus R XVX, uh, he was one of the strongest players we had in there and on his May, okay. uh, very frightening stuff. And I believe he's Ooh, played plus, plus R, R for May. a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Plus R May. Mm -hmm. Oof. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I, that definitely seems like, uh, his overall fighting game fundamentals kind of help carry him a little bit further. 100%, 100%. That, that last game, so. All right, good stuff. Yeah, so next up, we're gonna we're slated to have KSA go up against One Grant Beetle. Um, KSA, Ooh. we saw in the last match, they unfortunately didn't get to see a lot of him, but the little bit we did see of him, uh, another one of those uh, nasty Luong players, so. Um, yeah, his Luong is grimy. He's indeed. He's, like, definitely got the sauce. But I will so say... This will be a good one. Yeah, it's, it's sure to be a good one, indeed. And... He also has Andy, I believe, on his point character, and his Andy's pretty solid. We we see a couple of his, uh, yeah. His, uh, most well, last week <laughs> when we played, he he played uh, Andy Anchor. Oh, that is true. Last week, indeed, yeah. he played Andy Anchor. So, yeah. yeah, you're right about that. Actually, he probably plays Andy Anchor most for the most part. Um, mm. We'll we'll see that high damage Andy come into play, especially when he, he's able to um, get those corner confirms where you can extend a lot further. Than oh yeah. Screen. That's actually that's the really cool thing about Andy though. Is he I think he can he can go in literally any position and he'll he'll shine. Absolutely. Now, um KSA, I think we're still waiting on him. Now, unfortunately, since we are rather tight on time for this match day, uh I won't be able to, you know, wait too long for the players that are next up. So, um I'm going to check the timer, 805. Okay, so we'll give it two more minutes, and then we'll have to carry on to the subsequent match, which is, I believe is between Zenryoku and Jub Jub. So let me just ping right. these players ahead of time, just in case. And I can try to remember to help ping. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Thanks. Um, so, yeah, uh, KSA. Um, we didn't, again, we didn't see a lot of him throughout these match. Okay, there he is. Perfect. Okay, he's in. Dope. Yes. So, yeah, we we only we only saw him in that third match day, I believe it was. We didn't see him in the previous two, but um, we're gonna see a lot of him today. So, pretty excited to see what he's been cooking up in the lab. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna show a little bias here. I'm gonna have to root for my boy KSA. Oh, I hear you. Washington, I hear you. Washington represent. <laughs> for sure, dude. Um, yeah, I heard you guys played each other a few times in tournament, huh? Uh, not in tournament. Um, because the tournament, the last KOF turn we had, I wasn't able to make it, but he got second. Um, and then I always hang out with the uh, Olympia is kind of like the hub for KOF. So shout outs to the Olympia crew. I don't know if they're watching, but shout outs to them too. Um, so I played him in that server, and uh, yeah, he's 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 really good. 
That's Andy Mai Luong, Robert Mai, Bijanet. Okay, so we're seeing the Mai point. Now, Ma this is the exact team we saw from KSA um, last week. So uh, we'll see if there's any differences in terms of game plan, especially given the fireball head-to-head -head that we'll see to start us off here. Yeah, it's going to be really tricky. Like, the zoning war, I think, is still going to go in Mai's favor. So I just want to see how, how one regret beetle navigates this. Okay, yeah, the JCD yeah. is no surprise. <laughs> yeah. Now, his Mai is lethal. He yeah. will go for some cheeky shenanigans. Yeah, I saw that was actually really good damage off that stand CD. Didn't look like it was easy to confirm from that, so good awareness there. So... KSA deciding to, you know, play the lame game for the most part. Uh-oh, this is not good. This is not That's good. That's gonna be a grip. I, I would just cash out and try to kill. I honestly, agree. But that, that's, you know... Yeah, I feel like KOF's a game where you have to be opportunistic. You have to spend the damage on your confirms when you get those opportunities. Because, again, the game is fast. You don't know when you're going to get those opportunities again. Yeah, and as soon as you get get your get those chances, they can just slip away. So yeah, but it's all good. It, it worked out for him this time, saving his barb. Now we'll see how he's gonna fare against Lu Wong. Oh, missed. Um, basically, he wanted to low profile the jump in, but didn't catch the landing recovery soon enough. Oh, but this this should be enough to do that's, it. That's for this, sure. This is a dead character. If you just, oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Regardless. I'm just gonna shut my mouth. All right. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I guess we've uh, we've done that, and each time it, it didn't end up killing, or it was the opposite of what we thought. So, uh, our bad right. guys. I guess we're having a bad day with commentators cursed. <laughs> oh, guard cancel. <laughs> Get out. I think he would have gotten a punish actually had he. Uh, yeah, you would have. It might have been an accidental or um, guard cancel as well. Ooh. True too. It's a long pressure. Yeah, and I hate playing against this character, but this character is so, so stylish to watch. She is, truly. Right. Ned's just kind of suffocating. Yeah, lots of stray hits here. Um, oh, great, low profile. You should spend all the bar, yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. Oh! Ooh. What? It was it popped up a little too high, I guess. Oh my goodness, that's, oh, that's brutal. Long. I mean, it's still a very close match, though. Like Andy should be is able to like catch it up. With yeah, thankful. minimal minimal resources. Thankfully, coming in with a uh, close to two bars, so yeah, for sure. Um, and has enough to be able to shut out Bijanay, especially in neutral, where she likes to you know hide and start to use these. Weird glidey air buns. Yeah, hit and run indeed. indeed. Okay, nice sweep. There you go. Okay, so we're all good. He's gonna be down by have a two meter deficit, but I think that's fine. But yeah, the good part is that you know, other than the lore itself, um, there is there there's a there, I'd say it's a pretty even matchup overall, except it is, for a couple I would of my so. interactions. Yeah. Like but, I would say it's probably like five point five, four point five in like Maya's favor maybe but agreed oh no climax cancel oh no punish there oh all right i think ksa's taking notes on that even though he okay. lost this round even though he lost this game he's taking notes on the fact that uh the punish sure. wasn't there for sure And I do feel like the inflection point was indeed that missed long confirm. That just mm -hmm. stole a lot of the momentum that KSA had built up. Yeah, or... that was that was definitely a heartbreaker. But all right, all right, moving Going forward, both players are. Round start dive kick. All right. <laughs> Oh. This is gonna do a grip. Oof. Oh, I like oh, it. I like it. Go, go for oh. it again. 
How do you feel about this, buddy? I think that was a misinput, actually. He was trying yeah. to do EX Rian Boo. Regardless, though, I think this I is... Mean, Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. Turn it around, honestly. <laughs> yeah, just that little sequence was enough to bring the health bars back to even in the GIF. But... Oof. Oh. Oof. Let's punish. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Nice. So he, got the, he won the point war. Yeah, crucial, crucial round for KSA. And I do want to point out that offense was very good. It was it was, he he was not trying to run those tricks, you know, at 100 miles per hour. He's really looking for the opportunity to see whether One Regret would respect, which he was. Exactly. What a walk. Oof. Oh no! Confirm on the full jump punish. Just didn't believe. Okay. Well, it's all good. Yeah, my dealt with now. Um, we'll see. Luan coming with three and a half, which is plenty, no doubt about it. Oh yeah, with the right confirm, that's a de that's it's gonna do easy seventy five percent damage. Yep. Oh, nice frame trap. Oh. Okay, okay, this is good. Something to get started. Well, it's a little too far away there. Yeah, at least got a little bit of damage from the shadow strike and got the meter back. That's the important part. I like nice, that string. Nice yeah. Oh yeah. That low is uh very. It's very. It's like unexpected, basically. <laughs> yeah. It's so yeah. It's so quick. Mm -hmm. But wonder if getting great damage off of that confirm, and Okizema. Now what yeah, I'm this, noticing, this... wonder if doesn't spend his meter as mm, liberally. Very, very conservative with it for sure. Yeah. I believe to spend. Oh, and then. But just as we say, <laughs> he spends hey, the meter to kill there. <laughs> So Andy with five bars, something we rarely say. <laughs> yeah, five bar Andy. Great jump. This should be really good damage. In fact, is that the kill? Ooh. Oh no. He should have just done straight level two, but it's all good. It's all good. Okay. It's gonna be he's gonna have a, have the meter meter advantage. Full health, like he can definitely make this happen. Indeed. Indeed. So final round of game two. KSA trying to turn this back around, bring this to an even level game, but One Regret starts off with the good hits to say no. Let's see if this can turn to something good for both players, or either one of them, rather. Yeah, KSA just used one clean confirm. They just gonna even up the life totals there. Oh my goodness. Brave throw attempts. He went for it twice, and the first one was actually unsuccessful. Very risky. Okay, that was not punishable, I don't think. So Yeah, the light one there. light one you can't punish. The heavy one you can. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a jump. He's just like just a, a little bit too far away to actually get those hits. Okay, this is gonna hurt. Oh, oh that so had to have been an error. Safe jump, safe jump. No. Oh, it wasn't a safe jump. Oh no. <laughs> The level two, I guess, a little faster than the level one there. Yeah, I guess so. And one regret, barely escaping game two, but regardless, is gonna take where you know take every opportunity, right? You, you don't mm. you don't need to think about whether it was close or not. A game is a I game. I mean, game is a game. It ain't over till it's over. And KSA definitely showing the chops where he can he can turn the tides a little bit. Yeah, I hope we'll see a lot more commanding control from him because he's got to start, I think, winning these rounds very convincingly to, you know, begin bringing this back. It seems like he's getting a little antsy, like, defensively. Some of these drops, some of these, like, hops and stuff can clip my fireballs. Yeah. Well, understandably so. He knows that he has a mission to complete here. And I mean, sometimes you just gotta do it too. Like you just gotta risk reward mm -hmm. those, uh, those random random jumps and stuff. Indeed. Oh, barely escaped, but Wondergrip Beetle attentive there and saw the opportunity to use the Tatsu to close it out against Mai. So I, I noticed that KSA didn't guard cancel roll against that Robert string, which 
you know, had he done so, I think that would have been a good op punish opportunity. But speaking of punish... That's, that's a good punish opportunity right there. <laughs> Indeed. And yet again, another punish. Oh, that close he pushed him so he could get the cross up. Yeah, it was a... Oh, no. It's long, not getting to see much light of day so far. Finally has an opportunity to get some breathing room here. Oh! Oh! Some uncharacteristic drops from KSA, but hopefully you can get something started from here. Get the character. Get the character. Oh! Oh, got you chipped out. Alright, this is... And he's gonna come in. Three, almost four bars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of work be, to do. Be rough. Has to pull off the reverse OCB. Oh my god! <laughs> what was that hitbox on that? Alright. <laughs> What a DP. Oh, interesting. One regret meter busted done suddenly very slow. <laughs> well, I think he tried doing jump, like, try to contest the jump CD with his own CD, and Andy's just came out like a touch frame or two faster. Yeah, they're both pretty late on their presses, but, you know, of course, take them where you get them. Man, this Robert is working overtime right now. Indeed, that should be... Oh, I think canceled a little late or early, Wh whichever one it was. Regardless, though. Yeah. Okay. He... All right, I believe in Andy. Come on, boy. Yeah, you know, I think I think actually what we're start I'm starting to notice here, kind of the reason why KSA has a lot of meter uh, on his hands in these situations, he's not spending on guard cancels for the most part, especially when defending. I think he's got to be willing to spend those guard cancel blowbacks at least just get rid of all the momentum opportunities for one regret beetle because exactly okay okay that's a good start Ooh. right up in your face still all right oh punish okay. oh yeah the two hits of the close seed didn't allow for the uh the command normal oh my goodness dp into dp <laughs> And the climax, baby! And that's nearly a dead vision A. One more touch here. Come on, buddy. Nice. Alright. Right. Right, he's got two bars. He's gonna be about a little less than half health. I think he can turn this around. Yeah, almost the full distance, and to be honest, the circumstances weren't too favorable, so the fact that he's managed to get this far is impressive on its own. Oh, no super cancel. And Mai's already down in life. Yeah, he he is playing like a man possessed right now. Some hope, some belief. We can start to feel it here. He's got to keep this momentum. Oh, the SF5. Nice <laughs> oh, that should. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh it's not what? Okay. I think. All right. Did he fast fall? I actually didn't see. He couldn't tell either, honestly. If so, that was the hugest brain play. That was that was so clutch. Okay. I mean, like he does play my, so he knows. He knows the he knows the gimmicks. Yeah, the reverse OCV when he needed it the most. Yo, that's that's probably gonna give him a huge momentum boost. Yeah, it's a lot of confidence. Probably an bubbling. ego boost too, where it's like, yo, I'm nice. I'm nice. <laughs> yeah, certainly. It's good to pump yourself up, especially when, you know, you're on the early beginnings of getting this comeback together. Ooh. Oh. Okay, nice little confirm there. Okay, anti air far D. Again, man, Robert really is robbed by the because of the 2B scaling. Like, oh, that's his like main problem, like way of starting, and then he just, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. It doesn't have long enough arms. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, okay, okay, punish, punish. just barely missed. Oh, delayed slide. There you go. There you go. <laughs> nice. Yeah, a couple of a couple of jabs had to be, you know, fit in there to make sure that Robert yeah. was dead. But hey, he won, won the point war. Yeah, and that's actually I think is that the first time he's won the point war this, I think this set. Oh, so, yeah. 
That's how you know. That's how you know he's feeling it. He's got, Come back. He's got DL. What a low profile. Oh, a 2B. And what's the Yogi? Man, Beijing at far C is just so good. Yeah. <laughs> Comes out so fast. Only facts. So we're going to see the Luang come in. And I don't know if KSA has really gotten his Luang going as he would like, but... Okay, here we go, just as I said. There we go. Ooh, nice Tiger Nilu. Literally, right. just as I said, he get the best combo we've seen so far today. This <laughs> <laughs> is like, yo, Kuroshi, oh, check this. Yeah. My Luang can't do stuff. And here we go, another good hit off of the stand CD. Doesn't spend the meter this time. Yeah, it's probably wise, but I don't think it would have killed. Yeah, understandable. Oh, what a punish. It, he's been, like, whiff punishing with that move a lot. Good blocks, good blocks. Ooh, got a shatter, just random shatter strike. Uh... Sure. That was totally supposed to just work. Yeah, that was that was that was all part of the plan. <laughs> Crazy. Well, regardless, he's rewarded with a dead Luong, and now in comes Andy once again with three bars. But this time, Bijanade, not much life left. Ooh, that was the first we've seen Wonder Guy beat a wake-up roll, actually. I think he's starting to feel the pressure just a bit. A little bit, yeah. And another wake-up roll, this time punished by the full jump. Alright, this is potentially a uh, set point for Wonder Guy Beetle. Ready? Indeed, indeed. Okay, the first good hit goes to KSA, and he's going to spend all his meter this time. I agree. I fully damage, agree. Get knocked down. All right, that's all right. Now you're just like one confirm away. That's a punish, and that's not dead. But uh, the miss he input tried, he should be tried fine. Expo, yeah, Bam. you're right. And there we are. The normal throw, two to two. The score is all tied up. And that 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 anchor Andy has been coming out. It's been a revelation for KSA. I think. He's starting, like, if, if nothing else, the confidence is what he, he really needs from these sorts of comebacks. Mm -hmm. And that's how he's mm -hmm. going to be able to pull this thing together. I mean, full, so we're far, still. we're seeing it happen. Alright. Indeed. So, back to the point where, and I think Wonder Beetle Beetle's started, has got to start taking out some new tricks in order to uh, close these games out convincingly, because definitely KSA's pulled through on this point where. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and that flying squirrel attack was, uh, that was kind of nice. Just like just a couple seconds ago. Oh yeah, yeah. And KSA's he knows how to use these tricks when to pull them out, when how how to utilize the rest of Mai's moveset in order for those moves to be effective. Because we saw that in the previous match, one regard Beetle was not respecting Zenryoku's like little standing overhead sh shenanigans, but Oh yeah. This time he's kinda he's kinda frozen in fear against these I, flying squirrels. Definitely shook. Mm -hmm. All right. The trade favorable for taking off the head of Robert. So now we'll see Bijane hopefully, you know, get some damage in there. Uh, but I, I think KSA is certainly content with where he is right now. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. I think I think he's feeling himself now. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps perhaps those first two games were just warm up and conditioning and info gathering. Uh, and yeah. we were all being tricked by those combo drops or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, he, he, like you, you can just feel like his, his like confidence is just like something changed for him for sure. Hundred percent, hundred percent. And what I'd really like, is, oh, we'll just do that, I guess. That should be dead. Be okay, attention. chip. Almost chip. We'll, chip will we'll do it. Yeah. Ooh, I like how he ran forward to move the screen back, so they fall on that fall on the fan. Yeah, very, very present of mind. Actually, Bijan has some movement options, so it was a bit risky, somewhat. But regardless. KSA, I'm sure yeah. he knew what he's doing. So, interestingly, this is the first we've seen of the Mai Mirror this whole set. I know, right? The Mai to rule them all. Oh, run up throw, love it. 
Nice chase in the roll, and that is a dead Mai. I can say it confidently Yo, this Mai, time. Yo, Mai was working overtime for KSA. Indeed. Oh, so you just take a break. <laughs> yeah. Get your royal rest, Mai. You've done a good work here. Mm-hmm. Oh, what a jump CD. Just good jump in general. Yeah, I like how he's like opposing his aggression too, just doing those run-up throws. Yeah, and he's being really smart. He's being judicious with these stand CDs as well. He's just not throwing it out randomly. He's 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 got some method to this this crazy of a button, you know. Mm -hmm. Plus, yeah, the launch stand CD is just so good. It's way too good. And look at this reward to the corner and a safe jump. Oh. Okay. Okay. Didn't believe in that jump D. And too low. Nice and that yeah. is a dead my in a. I have no words, but. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, he uh, regained his composure after that second second match and was like, nah, I'm not going out like this. All right, good yeah. stuff to KSA. KSA, amazing comeback to take it over Wonder Grab Beetle, three to two, and man, yo. wow, <laughs> just wow. Washingtonians, man, we just built different. It must we just be. Just built different. <laughs> Man, KSA doing some good water after those first two games. Yeah, that was that was some good stuff. And that uh, Andy OCV though, the reverse OCV. Yeah, that that, that was what got it uh, got it all started. I mean, let's let's be real, right? If not for that Andy pulling everything together in that uh, third game, we might not have seen the light of day for KSA. He might have just gone away three to zero, but instead three to two in his favor. Incredible. For sure, for sure. So we're waiting on Jub Jub coming up next, and he'll be facing Zenryoku from UCLA. Oh, is KSA not playing? Um, on my schedule here, I have Zenryoku versus Jub Jub next. Oh. Let me remove KSA for now. Oh, and I did play. Uh, so I saw on here they have me and Ponder, uh, me and KSA playing, but we played last week. I think. Sorry, one second. Let me. <laughs> type or no, I think this might be a different one. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, this is a different round. Yeah, yeah. Round two. Yeah, I was, I was just, I'm looking at the schedule here and the the one that's pinned in the Discord. And I noticed that, like it has me and KSA playing at some point tonight, but we played last week. Oh. Hmm. You're right about that. Let me check here. I think I played Can I play Kento? Yeah, you're right about that. You're right about that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, for those of you guys watching, um, we won't have Ponder Sloth versus KSA, which is oh. number six. And I played I played Kento last week too. Oh shoot. Sure. <laughs> Dang, this is really this. Uh, apologies, guys, for the schedule. It's all good. It's mistakes. All good this was definitely the worst. It's been. Um, I mean, it's fine. We have plenty of matches we can choose from too. Yeah, definitely. So. Our next match for you guys is going to be Jub Jub versus Senryoku, UCI versus All UCLA. Right. This is the first we've seen of Jub Jub actually these match days. I've played against him before. It was a while back though, so I think he's got some new tricks indeed. Mm. From the last time I played. Oh him. yeah, I, I played him and he was in my pool for round one. And yeah, his Athena is annoying. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I bet, I bet. Yeah, he has a really good Athena. Mhm. Mm yeah, he used to pilot Rock Howard before the patch, but anyway. Oh, punish. Indeed. Alright, I, I see. Is Enric is willing to play this aggressive style 
for the most part. Like, he's not really using fireballs to negate most of these fireballs. He's just blocking them or trying to get good jumps for them. Which is, I think you have to play very patient against Athena. You gotta, you gotta, because you don't want to fall into the her throwing fireballs and DPing everything you're doing. Like, you gotta move very slowly. Yeah, definitely. We haven't seen the anti-air DPs just yet from Jub Jub, but perhaps he's saving it for the later conditioning of the set. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Not something it out as <laughs> only a Athena player would do, and that's uh, and that's with the fireball. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that that the anti air fireball is not something you see all the time. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. He man, this Ryoku is really good at drop jumping over all these fireballs. Yeah, he's picking the right jump angle and the right jump button. He's using jump CD for both these characters, and they both have, of course, horizontal jump CDs, which are well suited mm. for it. A great counter poke from Jub Jub, decent damage. Ooh, uh, nice, nice little little cash out there. Yeah. Like to see the meter spent on damage, especially these once in a while confirms that we're seeing from this matchup. <laughs> <laughs> that, I remember someone describing to me Athena's 2C in this game is like Osagot's like crouching fierce in CVS2. Oh, interesting. That's an interesting comparison, but I yeah. can see it. I can see it. <laughs> yeah, those, both those buttons are so, so strong. <laughs> like, forgot, cr like, crouching strong, like, crouching fierce is just a dumb button. Anyways. All right, so in comes Zenroku's Iori, and Zenroku looks pretty lost with that Shermie, but at least Iori getting something started here, and finally the All Athena right. slain. Get rid of that problem. Yeah, yeah. At all costs. So we're gonna see Kyo in the, for the first time, and Kyo is a menace. So much damage. Allegedly top one, according to China. Yeah, that's an opinion, I guess. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is an opinion that someone has. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no respect from Jub Jub on Wake Up. Oh, ooh, that roll could have been gotten blown up. Oh, and speaking oh, of blow-up, there's the blow-up there. Gates in point. Oh, what a frame trap, but it's the confirm. It's this brutal. Might be able, this might do it. Oh, oh okay, cut it short, it. the combo. Oh, I like the roll, but it was oh. ADP. <laughs> and then wake up. Yeah, woke up with Far D, that's actually no respect as well because any old meaty would beat that, but because Zenryoku oh, yeah. went for a low move and didn't time it as a meaty, uh, mm -hmm. the Far D went right over it and was able to get the job done. Yeah, Kyo's Far D being able to low crush is... High crush? Low crush? It, it crushes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, low crush or high profile. High profile is weird to say, so you're going to yeah. say low crush. <laughs> I was going to say low crush, it sounds way cooler too. Yeah, yeah. Oh! That was an interesting call out to that fireball. Yeah. Okay, so Phoenix Arrow, the light version. Uh, very important move actually for conditioning with these strings, these hit checks, because mm -hmm. Zenroku has been consistently trying to challenge or punish after the Phoenix Arrow. But now mm -hmm. that he, now that Jeb just switched in the light version, it's not as easy to do so. Well, Phoenix Arrow is the dive, right? Or is that... Yeah, that's, that called? Yeah, it's dive. The, the little... Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Geese down early. Okay. Wow, what a call out. Okay. <laughs> oh my... Normal throw against a block jump CD. That's crazy. That's kind of ballsy, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Zenryuk is still trying to slowly inch his way towards Athena through these fireballs. Definitely had been a hard time, but finally gets there. All right, gets the knockdown. What's the mix? Can we cross up? Okay, just roll. Fair enough. We haven't seen the anti-roll setup from Zenryuk yet, so it makes a lot of sense. Ooh. 
Oh. Oh my god. Just someone do something, please. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Okay. That jump C? Yeah, right. that was... That oh, never okay. happens. That... I almost never see Shermie's Jump City lose to a JC yeah. of all buttons. <laughs> exactly. Huh. Oh, what a DP. That that was actually so good. Let's hope we can see some of these Iori combos in the next couple of characters. Yeah, yeah, but I think Xenroku's got to really solve this Athena. Um sooner than later otherwise seriously this meter because yeah. Oh. yeah all all the damage that athena is getting at this point is just it's just way extra damage okay link for the chip yeah, athena did her okay. job though stalled enough that iori won't be getting too much health back despite the five oh. bars yeah and Kyo is going to come in four bars like that's going to do that could do so much damage all right now, let's see some of those Yori combos to even it up. Yeah, I hope so. Yo, I'm still noticing Jub Jub's waking up with buttons quite often. Or wake up mm -hmm. rolling, as we saw there. Really, not a lot of respect just yet. Oh, what a... That was great spacing on that jump. Oh, that actually... And... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. I'm glad I didn't finish my sentence. That actually missed. Is what I, of course, is what I was going to say. That's exactly what we are going to say, yeah. That's what I was going to say. Like, <laughs> actually, it actually missed, yes. <laughs> I think we'll see EX... Okay. Oh, regular Aragami does it as well. I thought we were going to see EX Stokugami, but... Same same idea. <laughs> yeah, using those armor frames. Mm -hmm. So Judge goes up 2-0. Now, I, it's it's hard to pinpoint what's going wrong for Zenryoku aside from just the fireball game. But I also feel like yeah. it's such a shallow way to describe the issue. Because, you know, the fireballs are definitely, you know, tilting, angering, especially when it's hard mm -hmm. to navigate. But... We saw some good answers early on with the the hyper hop jump CDs from Zenryoku, so mm -hmm. I wonder if it were sure. Yeah, it's just something. I might just be getting, might just be frustrated. Could be. Be be simply put, because mm -hmm. uh, Athena does that. She makes you feel really frustrated. Yeah, already seeing a good like added measure that Zenryoku's using. He's using the double Rapukin for that EX projectile property. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And honestly, he's starting to outzone the zoner. Oof. Yeah, which is great. Let her just get out of the corner and go full screen, which is not not what you want. Oh, there's the reflect though. So we're starting to see the little fireball meta game here. Oh, he jumped, fell right on it. Nice throw. Starting to recognize. Sweep. Oh, great jump. All right. All right. I mean, this could be the momentum shift that he needs. Yeah, this is the start of opening that new chapter. You know, seeing this match for the first time, I think, will give a bright new day to Zenryoku, allow him to get some confidence into implementing this game plan. Mm -hmm. But Kyo making quick work with the final remaining bits of health that Geese had. So in comes Shermie. Full... St full st Blah, 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 blah. Full stack of health as well as three bars to work with it. Mm, trying to catch him with the catch him with that low there. Okay. Okay. I I guarantee you that Jub Jub pressed a button there on wake up. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but this is damage. This is the first scene of. Any sort of damage from, like, sorry, any sort of big damage from Zenryoku, and no better a time than now. Oh yeah, just gotta get that lead and like keep it. Gotta Great. keep that momentum. Indeed, indeed, that, that was a good normal throw earlier as the Abra from Zenryoku, and now back to neutral. We can see that he's a bit more content with just falling back. 
Nice throw. Just the mix. Oh. Wait, did, did that just a little too soon. And, all right, cool. Another great normal throw. Jub Jub, I guess, going a little bit early on those jump-ins, but great recognition regardless from Zenryoku. So, the first we'll see of Iori today from Jub Jub, but I assure you, not the last we'll see of Iori in general in this match. Yeah. <laughs> and as time goes on, we'll only see more and more Ioris. Yes, and right, for the first time, we saw the anti-roll setup from Zenryoku. And the DP baited. Good opportunity here. Alright, that's that's a dead character. And... Alright, cool. Oh, and the super for BM as well, of course. Yeah, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> gotta assert dominance, you know? Yeah. <laughs> no, of course, that was probably not intentional. I think it just came out after you were yeah, just ready yeah. to... <laughs> just muscle memory is like, I'm just doing, doing super. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so nice regain of composure from Zenryoku. Again, the, the key turning point there was besting that Athena early on mm -hmm. with the geese. Mm -hmm. So hopefully he can remember what worked in that previous one and carry it over to this one. Oh, great. He micro-rocked out of that, actually, in order to get that close C punish. Ooh. So far, yeah, this is, what he's, this is what he needs to do. He's doing a good job. Oh, he's getting out of the corner. I would have liked that OTG, OTG grab to put him where it's easier to put them back in the corner. Agreed. Oh, preemptive reflector. Okay. There's the extra spice he's adding to this matchup. The first we've seen of it, right? I don't think he's used it so uh, far. In this match, yeah. I think, I think he's only used it once this time, and in his previous match, I think he only did it like once, maybe twice. Yeah, I think it was a good time to take it out, but mm -hmm. for now, Shermie will have to finish off the little bit of life that Athena has. Wow, just <laughs> neutral hops, jump C. All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, if he, if Zinryoku can get rid of this Athena before oof. Get rid of this Athena before too much damage hits. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh missed the confirm. <laughs> of course. Alright. Of course. Yeah, just like just shrug it off. Yep. That's the that's the I don't know, that's the Kobe shrug. <laughs> you guys watch basketball. Uh oh. Oh uh, oh good grief. Oh, please, please, not like this. Oh, uh, this is not a time we want to see this. Now, both players haven't said anything. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, their game's officially crashed. Oh, what? Oh, Whoa. It's... <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. The, the gentleman, gentleman jabs. Make sure everything's all right. Cool. Wow. Okay. I guess there's some extra time to reflect on stuff. <laughs> yeah. It game. worked for somebody. Yeah. The game just called a timeout for both of them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Just armoring through that. Okay. Oof. Great confirm. Oh, Should have gotten super. Yeah, we're start. We're seeing a lot of the players today. I guess, perhaps not intentionally, but just opt for like these meterless combos where mm -hmm. the opportunity to kill is there. But for now, at least, kill will finish off the Shermie. So in comes Yori, and he's got a lot of work to do actually. Uh, a lot of work oh. to do, but or, the black screen. <laughs> the black screen's like, you know what? Speaking of work, I don't yeah. feel like it. Yeah, yeah. So now we're stuck in this, uh, how do you call it? Um, distortion world? 
right, we're in the void right now. Yes. <laughs> we'll see. Let's see void. if the void will uh, blink. The world between rounds. <laughs> this this is probably where Shermie hangs out um, while Yori, you know, does the anchor work uh, for her. Yeah, for sure. For sure. You know, one thing I one thing I did like from Zenryoku this match is that. He, he went back to the drawing board, thought of some options that he could add along with the options that worked in the previous uh, game, mm -hmm. and brought them in, and they were really good. Um, yeah, it's definitely, definitely growing. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, definitely learning and adapting his way through through these matches. It's just, hope maybe we can finish the match? Yeah. Um, oof. I'm still hearing their music, as is uh, my other commentator. So, yeah. Do you just want to replay this one? Well, I don't know about that, right? Because. Oh well, they they both agreed to replaying it, so I guess one of them's gonna alter four. Yeah, that might that might honestly just be the better call. Now, yeah. are they gonna replay it from what their characters were at, or are they just gonna replay the whole thing? Right. So I believe it was Kyo versus Iori, um, Jubda versus Enri, respectively. So they should just kill their characters until that point oh dear restart real quick okay uh well in the meantime hope you guys are enjoying the match day so far this has been cvl match day number four being held for ko15 um, season number five also supported by snk through their esports support program thank them for supporting us hope you guys have been enjoying it tonight thanks snk yes yes so in terms of what we've got later down the line um since we've been trudging along at you know a slower pace than uh anticipated at least um we'll have after this zenryoku versus kento as our fourth match of tonight and then we'll have kento versus jub jub and then um i believe our sixth match has already been played so uh we'll ignore that one and then we'll have connect versus kento connect versus ksa and then um Oh, me and my ponder sloth. Did you guys play? We haven't played. No. Um. I so <laughs> on this from what I'm seeing on this list, uh, KSA and I have played, and I played Kento last week, as well. Okay, so you've so played. So it Kento. should just be oh, me, oh, my, me and him, oh, me, oh, my, and me versus Jojo. Got it. Okay. All right. So that's noted for you guys, and uh, we'll also have hopefully some time for the intermission which i hope will be fun for you guys that'll be revealed once we get there um but as for the rest of the matches following we'll have to we'll have to do a time check on those um of course we started around our target of 745 ish and uh, we should have time for at least a good chunk of our matches today but um there's no knowing what may lie ahead so uh, we'll have to be patient and adjust based on the circumstances. But that's not any, that's not anything unlike what a fighting game player is already able to do, right? Yeah, for sure. And I mean, honestly, the fact that we're running a little late is, I mean, just off, makes the the tournament experience that much more authentic. <laughs> <laughs> True. That is not wrong. Tournament, tournament standard time is a thing. Indeed. Um, so let me, I guess in the meantime, hope you guys are doing all right over there in the chat as well. Um, let's see, Sarah popping off. Washington, literally washing fellas. <laughs> Damn right we are. <laughs> we don't have a big KOF scene, but the people who do play like to think we're all pretty nice, so... <laughs> Although, man, you know, have you ever, like, played someone before? And you're, like, especially when you're, like, feeling yourself, you're like, man, maybe I am actually really good. And then you play someone, and they just, like, wash you up in so many ways that you just, like, have an existential crisis about yourself as a fighting game player. Yes, I know exactly the feeling you're yeah, describing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just had that feeling the other day um, at our locals and, oh, I'll tell the story. Oh, they're picking characters. Um, yeah, so we hit, at our locals in Seattle, we um, there was a KOF player who showed up, 
uh, named Scientific. Scientific KOF. Yeah. Um, who definitely uh, places very high in a lot of tournaments. And uh, so I didn't realize who he was at first. And we played. And Jesus Christ, he, like, I got smoked so hard. It was like, I don't know, it must have been... It was like 8 0. Yeah, he's from NorCal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he, he was super nice. He was a super cool dude. Round one. Ready? Washed up in KOF 98 as well, so that was fun. Okay, so. Are they, are, are they just gonna just run the whole match from start to finish? Yeah, this is what the players have decided, so. Yeah. Alright. Um, as long as they're both okay with it, then I suppose we'll. So well. it's 2-1 Jub Jub right now, right? That's right. That's, that's right. the score. Yeah, so, you know, in terms of a restart, honestly, if I were if I were speaking without regard to some other factors, this would probably favor Zenryoku in terms of the progress he's making and bringing this back, but uh, there's no telling what will actually happen. This could all the same be like a momentum breaker, you know, having this kind of break. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes I can just just hurt you. Mm -hmm. but. but for now, both players seem to be starting from where they left off with regards to this fireball mini game. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was the, I, thought, I didn't realize we were playing Mario Maker. I thought it was a KOF match, dude. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that point match looked a lot worse than the first one from the interrupted game. Um, I think Zenroku's jump button selection just wasn't there. The jump CDs weren't catching Athena at the right height. Yeah. Well, nice confirm. Ooh, that's a great confirm off that 2B, or 5B. Okay, once again, Jub Jub, you know, not respecting this mix up. He's been rolling each one as far as I can remember. Which could get real dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> against Sherby. Ooh, the air hit on that close C. Yeah, punishable on hit moment. Yes. Yeah, looking a little rough. Okay. 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 At least able to close it out, get Athena out of there with, her, with the second character. Yeah, for now Athena down and done, but both players on four bars. This is this goes to show how focused they've been on this. What? What? Okay. <laughs> Don't whip buttons on me, says Shermy. That was okay. I mean, oh, okay, okay, nice okay. Yeah, so sure me down. That that was baffling. I can't that believe was, that yeah. was punished from that distance. <laughs> That's got mentally guard broken too. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Great jump, but no confirm. The cross up was not deep enough. Oh, almost spaced that far D. Ooh. I would like to see him cash out a little bit more. I think that might just be the theme for today. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, I agree. And uh, we saw the safe jump attempt, but Jub Jub again wasn't respecting. And this could be dead. Yeah, that's, that is indeed. If, uh, yeah, level 2 Rechinagi, yep. Alright, well. It was a great effort. Set's going. It was a good effort. It was a great effort for sure. I think I think that uh, the game freezing on the last one kind of just I probably kind of hurts in Ryoku, but yeah, he seemed iced a bit okay. um, in that geese head to head, which was of course mm -hmm. the crucial point of the match. But regardless, it was a great effort from both players, and Jubja yeah, will get the better end of it. Take it three to one. The homie, he's from oh, NorCal. Right. You're talking about Jub Jub, right? Um, no, I think he was talking about uh, Scientific. 
the guy, the KOF player from that was telling you about. Oh, true. Yeah, you're right. The time yeah. would make sense for that. Yeah, he's, he's from he's from NorCal. <laughs> Super cool dude. Really nice. Awesome. awesome. Washed me and my homie up in some KOF though. <laughs> but I feel like I became a better player just for getting clapped up like that. Yeah, that's what it's all about, you know, leveling up from, you know, potentially fighting your rival or learning from a stronger opponent. Those are always things that are, you know, very inspira inspirational. Um, a lot of the times, you know, in other genres, people see it as something to be ashamed about, but there's nothing to be ashamed about getting beat up and learning a lot from it because, you know, iron sharpens iron in the end. Yeah, you, you gotta get cooked. <laughs> every once in a while it's a very humbling experience yeah humbling is definitely the, the word for it very humbling okay so we're we are waiting on kento oh yeah uh, i think scientific he uh he plays dbfc as well I don't, I don't know about Marvel, but I know he plays. I know he plays Dragon Ball Fighters. Okay, okay. But so some tag games in there. Yeah. I mean, he's a team game player, I guess. He plays KOF, plays Dragon Ball. So bit. All right, so we're gonna see Zenryoku versus Kento. Um, I don't think these two have played before at all, so I don't think so either. But we'll see if they've got and a read on each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, my Luong. I feel like that's a very popular shell. Oh my god! Wait a minute. Yeah. Well, oh, okay. No, no. I, I, I think KSA. Yeah, Andy. I thought the same person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. KSA <laughs> played uh, Andy Anchor, and he yeah. played Yori Anchor. I was gonna say, is like, wait, have we seen this before? <laughs> yeah, no, nope. just uh, yeah, huh? So uh, one thing to note, guys, I think we've seen Iori from. Anyway, then, let's not go there. Uh, let, let's talk about Geese versus Mai. More fireball characters, guys. Which honestly, I think Geese might like his the double Rapukin definitely helps him out in the in the, in the battle. Yeah, it's a great asset, especially, you know, Mai doesn't have the full screen range options um, to necessarily challenge that without, like, a full jump, necessarily. But Geese can mm -hmm. respond at that range. Oh, okay. Risky he sots, but I think I was very favorable. The corner positioning plus the damage there was very much worth it. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Just made, made short work of Geese. All right. See if uh, his Shermie can fare any better, which I'm not certain. That's gonna be this might be a hard time. Yeah, there will be some difficulties, but I already see Zenryoku taking a more calculated approach with these jumps. Ooh. Oh, I uh, didn't get the full confirm. The full confirm off that uh, hyper hop jump C. Yeah, but you know, at least he had the button selection there. Didn't go for the jump CD this time. Knew that he needed mm -hmm. a downward angled button. Yo, did he combo that CD with the fan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, interesting. Air reset. Patience from yeah, Zenroku for now. Too cheeky. Yeah, nothing cheeky, but Zenroku's going to definitely need some something here. Like, he, he's he got these stray hits, but he, he's going to need to yeah. get a very strong... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just went for the chip. Indeed, we saw we saw a lot of walk forward blocking, which I liked a lot. That allowed him to mm -hmm. not have to take these hits and also potentially just defend to get extra meter. Mm -hmm. Speaking of meter, look at that Iori meter. Ooh, that's looking like that's gonna like. He just can't wait to waste a character. <laughs> Yeah, you always definitely the character who's running at you and he looks like he wants to grab you, except... Yeah, he's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Except he wants to do that and more. Yeah, this Maya has just been keeping him on his toes this whole, whole round. 
Oh, oh wow, great. nice flying squirrel. Yeah, that bait of the anti-air so well, and that's a dead Iori. All right. Coming in with some IOCV. All right. Yeah, great start for Kenso. You I know, see you, homie. Very solid. It was it, there was nothing like super flashy or like hectic from Kenso. There it was just you know standard fireball game that yeah. eventually added up. That was pretty much the summary of. What yeah, that was, that was that was traditional fighting game zoning 101. Exactly. That was, that was fighting game neutral. Nothing nothing fancy. Just buy the book, and you know it works. Yeah, a couple of that with, you know, some damage in there, and you've got yourself a game like Kento does. So here we go, game two. I just disrespected, <laughs> disrespected that right up. I like these sort of stutter runs Zenruk is doing. He's running, but then immediately cutting it short. Yeah, probably he's probably afraid to like just, he doesn't want to run into a fan or anything. Yeah, at least allows for a change of pace. But speaking of change of pace, the first clean confirm goes to Kento, puts Zenruk in the corner. But great counter sweep to escape for now. And he's not really getting anything too like crazy off those like air resets. Kind of just does it, just bat, like shimmies him a little bit. Yeah, I, I like the attempt there. He's trying to catch a counter poke from Kenta, which he's been mm -hmm. pretty like he he's been that's been his go-to throughout these um, head-to-head so far. But uh, this time didn't work out, and down goes Geese. So in comes Shermie. Good block on the cross-up. No roll this time, actually. Very confident in his defense. Ooh, that was a nice roll. Oh, I would should have cashed out. I agree. Especially given this matchup, you want every single touch leading into damage. Yeah. Because, yeah, at this point, Maya's just, yeah, she's just draining the clock, making her run for it. Whatever damage she gets is just free damage. And I really like how Kento is just like, yeah, just... Draining the clock, just being annoying, moving backwards. Exactly. Making Zenroku hang himself. Hang himself. Yeah, hang himself. <laughs> oh, punish. <laughs> and the Ooh, overhead. That was a nice confirm. Yeah, some some anime mix-ups there. So it yeah. appeared. <laughs> so nice turnaround from Kenso. So. You know, again, Zenroku coming in with five bars. This is a recurring theme we've seen throughout this match day. Lots of meter left on the table so far. Oop. All right, finally gets real mate, my. But uh, if I remember, Kento's Luong is pretty good. Yeah, no doubt about it. We're not going to sugarcoat it, guys. This is this is the ace character of Mr. Kento over here. We'll see. If she can get started. But. Zenroku. You know, this is probably a more comfortable matchup, I'd say. No fireballs to deal with, so. Yeah. And honestly, like, once you get the knockdown on Lee Wong, it's, the matchup's a lot easier. Because her defensive options are not great. That is very true. And the safe jump. Yeah, oh. that that is a recurring theme, right? We Basically, every single combo leads to safe jump. Mm -hmm. You just got to know. And I appreciate the willingness to disrespect the safe jump, but at this point, we, we have rarely seen missed safe jumps from Kento. Yeah. And, yeah, that's that's the thing, too, is you, it's better to sit and wait so you can actually get used to, like, what their safe jump heights look like. Mm -hmm. So you know how to punish it when it's off a little bit. Yeah, exactly. So a clean one from Kenso once again. Um, this time, you know, despite the long, the, the my falling, the long cleans it cleans it up in the back. So back to the fireball wars of old. Man, I, if I was in Ryoku, I would be tired of all these <laughs> all these darn zoners just running around. He's been having a rough go of it. Yeah, it's been unfortunate too because I feel like he's been facing a lot of the my, a lot of the. Yori, the you know the characters mm. like so, the Robert as well earlier. Ooh. 
can be immensely draining, you know, having to navigate these fireballs oh, yeah. each and every matchup. And you like it's like the measures are at the tip of your tongue, but implementing them is another story. Well, yeah. That's the first time I've seen, um, seen Kenta go for the knee drop there. Yeah, and also block the first time. Not not something you see every day. <laughs> yeah. Man, that move just, like, it blows me up. I don't know what it is. I yeah. have no Ooh, nice jump E. Yeah, as well. And for the first time, he caught Kento not really respecting. Or, or actually, he caught Kento respecting, rather. Um, the tick special move grab. Yeah. <laughs> that jump B blew up Shermie's jump CD? Okay. <laughs> nice overhead. Okay, throw break, Ooh, but... Nice. Back. Uh, that's a dead character. Yep. And there you go, Dick spending Dick. the bar. Mm -hmm. I like the... I like, you know, again, unafraid of saying... It's, it's not a waste if the character's dead. You know, he's not yeah. afraid to spend that meter. Especially when you're still on your point, like, you'll get that bar back in spades. You'll be fine. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. You'll be able to gain a bunch of bar with my... Yeah. Okay, I like the stand CD. I really like Kendo's <laughs> fireball patterns, too. Like, he's peppering in, like, the, the whiff sweep fireballs and... Oh. Yeah, combining all these moves with the fireball game just allows for some crazy timings that mm -hmm. are just really frustrating. And he's running in as well just to allow for some gaps to be closed, just in case he needs to change the pace just a bit. Man, that Mai was a menace. And she tore through the majority of Zanryoku's team throughout each game, and... Yeah, that was enough to get Kento to the finish line. He'll take it over Zenryoku 3-0, so congrats. Mm. All right. Oh, he tried to fault this defense. That is understandable. <laughs> Lol. You know, that's fair. I um, I was playing I was playing Third Strike the other day, and I tried to throw somebody do with um, forward, uh, forward medium punch. Just out of habit. <laughs> oh no. And yeah, there's so many times I go back to play like Street Fighter, like Third Strike or Street Fighter Five, and I'll just like I'll try to roll, and I'll just like whiff grabs. I'm like, oh man, I'm I'm not playing. I'm not in my element right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dang. Well, um, so good stuff again, um, to both of those players, and I believe that's the. There, there might be one more match down the line for Zenryoku, yes, indeed. But for now, that's. All we'll see of Zenryoku until the later slates of our schedule here. Um, next up, we've got Kento versus Jub Jub. So, again, another match we haven't seen yet. Um, but it should be, you know, you know, I, I do think the, the fireball head on should be exciting for those of you that love some good fireball zoning. But for those of you that are already getting tired of it, um, I, I feel for you hanging there. Uh, this will not be the last that you'll see, I can assure you of that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, when a fireball game is, like, done right, <laughs> like, when it's just, like, well-executed zoning, like, I don't know, I get hyped by it. Yeah, me too, actually, yeah. I, I, I always loved, actually, watching good 98 Athena players. The only reason mm -hmm. I don't like that character, actually, is because of the voice lines and the, the whatever, the, oh, like, yeah. the, sound, the sound clips, they're, they're way mm -hmm. too over the top, but... Oh, yeah. Watching that character just... pull off her stuff is just beautiful. Yeah. Like, yeah, just clean play in general is just like, this is nice to watch, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, Kento taking some time to think about the team here. He might actually be pulling something out different. Selectors. Yeah, not surprising. Ooh, the Chizuru. Alright. So, Chizuru point. We don't really see that very much in 15. This was definitely something we saw more often in 98, but um, yeah. you know, given the matchup I mean, that he probably expected, this is this is reasonable. I mean, I can definitely see why he's busting out Chizuru point. Just mm -hmm. being able to reflect the fireballs probably help him out a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be huge. And, you know, they might have some reflect reflection wars. We'll see if that will ever start and who will get the better end of it. 
But already, Kento getting the offensive started. Okay. Defensive throw to get her off, and that's actually very important. Athena needs that space. Oh my goodness, Barbie. Man, Jub Jub's, uh, Jub Jub's Athena is pretty, uh, pretty nice. Yeah, he's gotten like a great amount of hits, which is basically, oh, there's the reflector. Yeah, all these hits have really added up really quickly, and you know, despite oh. the fact that the Athena goes down first, I think she more than completed I mean, like she, a solid job. Yeah, she she put in some work there. So we'll see Kyo come in with uh, just close to three, but I don't know if this matchup is honestly any easier. Chizuru is still Chizuru. <laughs> yeah, Chizuru is still still a menace. Once she can like get her clones going. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Jub Jub, no definitely understanding the threat and deals with her very quickly as necessary. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice cross up. Ooh. Oh, the first hit missed. Oh, I, he was trying to get. Yeah, he just didn't get that confirm off that uh, 3D. Yeah, we. I've I've been noticing like Jub has been getting, getting pretty good success off those far Ds into max mode. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it too much from other players, so it's good stuff. No, uh, shades of season one, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This will be something to get started. Uh, would have liked to see him do level 2, but it's all good. He's still, still ahead. Alright, save jump. Oh. The JA on the other side. Oh, that could have been a dead character. Yeah, I think so. So tense. Ooh. All right. Wait, punish? What was punished? Uh, maybe let's try to match two A or something. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I literally did not see it, but yeah. you know, seeing is not not the full picture anyway, especially in a fast game like this. All right, so it comes Yori. Yori quickly eliminating Luong. So the first, not the first, but you know, the Yori mirror on anchor um not the first not the last <laughs> no. although which one do you like which iori has the better fit like what, what would you for you know honestly default I mean, iori looks pretty good i yeah i mean i'm i'm feeling the uh yeah is that is that kento's colors the default one? Oh my goodness i'm actually not sure oh yeah it is yes, it is yeah okay yeah yeah default yeah the red nice. pants. I mean, I, I'm still a huge fan of uh, Yakuza Yori, but you know, whatever. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. All right, so a lot of stray hits, actually. No, no combos. No actual offensive sequences either. Just stray hits in neutral and on defense. Fireballs and parties. Yeah, it's all culminated to over 30 percent. Oh, no! oh, oh god, that was a little bit. That's crazy, and the Ooh, meter being nice, spent nice. on the guard cancels. Uh, the, both players understand where this thing has to end up because. Oh, okay, okay. Oh my God, this is so close. Honestly, I would like to see full screen super just for the heck of it. Full <laughs> screen <laughs> Maiden Master. Yeah, with fun or something, right. you know. But uh, I don't Man, even know which was... Yori won. <laughs> it was yeah, it was Kento's Yori, but. Oh, it okay. was uh, it was very close. Yeah, that was that was honestly that was that was pretty good. Um, what I thought it would be was definitely different than what it actually was, and mm -hmm. you know I I I really enjoyed that. Now, will the question is what will the players do to adjust, and will they both be looking forward to that mirror again? Probably not. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> 
That mirror seems like. Ooh. Yeah, highly undesirable, I'd imagine. Um, yeah. The, the the mental side of it as well just is draining, but. Okay. Wait the throw. Jazira's putting in pretty. Oh, I mean, this is also another really close. Ooh, nice use of super. Oh. If you'd run up just a little more, you actually could have punished that roll. Okay, no, it doesn't matter. All right, nice close C. <laughs> All right. Yeah, nice, nice. And actually, that was very smart, opting for the close C instead of the DP. A lot of Athenas go for DP, but DP actually like slides under, so it can just a miss. Lot, a lot of DPs in this game slide over. Yeah, yeah, especially Athena. So, um, great stuff there from Jub Jub. But, and dead Athena. All right, yeah. how to use half a bar, but that's not too bad. Yeah. And, uh... They're gonna have the meter advantage going into this round. Yeah, I mean it's not too much of a meter advantage, but it'll be fine. Yeah, the nice part is that at least he has access to the quick max from round start, which is we, something we know Jub Jub likes to go for. But first clean hit goes to Kento. Oh, missed time the safe jump actually. Ain't safe in the corner. <laughs> Ooh. It beat the EXDP even. That yeah, that's, that feels real bad. Oh. See on that last jump, like little hoppy, like uh, he was Jub Jub was trying to do that two C would have would have clipped. I'm sure. He probably could have gotten a better punish. Yeah, I think so. Ooh, nice DP. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Two way Antara, I love it. Oh! 6A max mode. Ooh, alright! Okay. Command cross up. Try to go for that taco, alright. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Uh, this might is be a dead, dead character. Oh! Nope. Almost. Put himself in the corner. Oh, this is, this has to be a dead character. Yeah, that that's it. Yeah, that was an interesting roll from Kento. Actually, pretty risky, in fact. But mm -hmm. caught Jub flinching just a bit, and it was enough to get those two Bs in for the kill. So Kento up two games to zero. Now, of course, I if I were Kento, I'd be a lot more content with how that ended, simply because it did not result in the mirror. The mirror is just a bit too volatile. I think that one is a bit more evenly matched, whereas Kento prefers to have a matchup where he can command the neutral with these characters such as Chizuru and Wong. Exactly. And mirror matches are just so... I don't know, they always put me on edge regardless. Like... Ugh, I hate mirror matches. Yeah, <laughs> definitely feel you there. So, we're seeing Athena get a lot of this... Yeah, this is almost like Charity the damage. opposite of what the last match was was like. Oop, got the nice cross up there. Oh, uh, cross of JD is uh, disgusting. Or is that JB? That was JB. Yeah, JB. Yeah. Okay. So all right. Pretty convincing from uh, Jub Jub there. Just all those fireballs quickly, quickly eliminating the health bar of Chizuru. Yeah, so. Jump Jump's like used to neutral with Athena is really, really good. Agreed. And he's not he's not really like moving too trick he's not he's not moving necessarily, you know, elusively, but it's enough to get Kento mm -hmm. to just want to go in. Exactly. And that might also just be like one of the things you just want to do against Athena anyways, just I, I don't want to block fireballs all day. I want this kid dead. <laughs> yeah, precisely. You know, even though Athena's eating this combo, um, and that looks like dead, yes. Yeah, uh, like that. that. was a lot of damage dealt to Luong there. Yeah, So a lot a lot of damage dealt, a lot of bar built, like, mm -hmm. excellent stuff. Yeah, Luong's going to have her work cut out for her, I think. Um, Jeb Jeb's kill has definitely been putting in good work especially from last game. And we're seeing here, first clean hit. Mm. 
Oh, no counter poke. Actually had a punish opportunity on that early JD. Hmm. Oof. Man, the long sweep is so good. <laughs> yeah, it reaches long, low profile is super. It's almost like a fireball unto itself. Like, it's just, it goes so far. The fi yeah, actually, that's a great comparison to fireball. I didn't think of that. It can go yeah. under fireballs too. It's crazy. <laughs> it's just so. Oh. All right, so man, yeah, Jub Jub's doing pretty good. <laughs> has has the character lead mm -hmm. pretty close to bar, like same bar. Like I mean, it's far behind, but best to be expected at this point. Right. Okay, did spend all the meter. Saving it for nationals, which of course is the Yori mirror. Exactly. Oh. Ooh. Drop combo. Could have been worse, but. Oh dear. Oh, that's not a save. <laughs> okay. Yeah, those those can can kicks from Keo, like you can't make those safe anymore. Those are all very punishable. Honestly, good. They should be. I don't oh, know yeah. why they were ever safe. Even in previous games, they were plus for some reason. If you deleted yeah, it be... enough. I mean, protag pro tag privilege. True, true. <laughs> All right, so Iori Mirror, we are. Um, Jub Jub's meter advantage quickly depleted, actually. <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, gonna do a grip. Oh, okay. It's not cashing out. I guess because it was like crouch light kicks, maybe just thought it wouldn't yeah, work the meter. The scaling wouldn't have been great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so calm neutral now. Standard Iori, just walk, back dash, taco kick, fireball. Yeah. You'll see this all the time, guys. This is, this is pretty, pretty textbook KOF. Indeed. Okay. Ooh, got the command, command grab. grab. Is that dead? Oh. No. It could have been. Yeah. Kento sparing the life of Jub Jub here, and Jub Jub, of course, not a lot of time. Ooh, yeah. I wonder what he went for the EX move. Couldn't quite see it. But... Oh, I don't know. Because EX, EX DP would have blown through that. Yeah. Maybe it's probably try to go... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm not certain. Half circle move. But regardless, Kento will take it 3 to 0. Congrats. Yeah, GG's, bud. Great stuff. You know, off the back of that Yoramir, he's got to be feeling good. The fact that it went to the Yoramir twice and he managed to get the upper hand, even though it didn't necessarily look the cleanest or the most comfortable, I think that's definitely got to be a confidence booster. Yeah, I mean, he did really well. Like, he just... I mean, the better player won, let's be honest. But, like, he, he, was, he was making him work for it. Yeah, which is important. You know, you want to also pump yeah. yourself up with... <laughs> You know, making it competitive. It's it's been said um, in the world of some other esports games. Um, if 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 you know you're gonna get beaten up, if you know you're gonna get beaten up by a better team, don't give up because you want to give yourself confidence. You don't want the other team mm -hmm. to feel like they can walk all over you. Um, and also, like sometimes if you think you're gonna go into a match that you're gonna win, like your hubris will be the reason why you lose. So like you have to understand, like anyone can win it. Like, the one might have better results, but at the end of the day, it's a coin flip about who's going to win. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, that is very true. Um, so it goes both ways in that regard. So next up, guys, we're going to be seeing Kento versus Connect. Um, okay, that's going to be page two finally. So Kento versus Connect. This is going to be UCI versus SFSU. Um, so Kinect was our fellow Rugal player, so I think for the first time we will not be seeing Iori on both teams. Or first time in a bit. Um, of course, not first time ever, but <laughs> um, Oh yeah. <clears throat> and also regarding our intermission, um regarding our intermission, that'll be coming up after this page of matches are complete. Um That'll be basically after the Rig Days versus Sarah matchup. Um, so yeah, hope you guys have been enjoying the match day so far. Um, oh no, Kento left. No, ah. <laughs> hey, no, come back.
the lobby music I kind of vibe with. I don't oh, know what it is. Me too. It is a huge jam. I, I like. Uh, it, it, I was playing back the VOD and it's like, you know, this is some good chill music to just have as yeah. you know, your waiting music. I don't mind at all. All right, so both players shuffling in here now. Again, Connect playing Rugal. He also plays, I believe, Kyo and um, Isla. Is that right? Mm, I think that sounds right. I guess we'll see very soon whether that's confirmed or denied. But I'm excited regardless. Um, the two Ks, Connect and Kento. Let's see. Oh! Oh, Shingo, not Kyo. That's right, that's right. Cronin this time. So, diet, he, so Shingo, or as I like to call Diet Kyo. <laughs> diet Kyo, yeah. That's a good way to put it. Zero sugar, but it's actually just worse sugar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just worse. Yes. All right. So Kento's go. He's been switching his teams around a lot. Now he's doing Cronin, Luong, Iori. You know, in he's a way. switching out his points a lot. In a way, I think he's actually just trying to stay warm, stay fresh, and all these characters you can play. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if For it's sure. like a counter pick necessarily, because I wouldn't say that Cronin's any better or worse against Rugal than Chizuru is. No. So. Oh, great. Counter poke 2C. Alright, definitely Rugal's domain when he's get those fireballs going. I actually would like to see a DP from Connect uh, just very early into this match where it's like less risk because. Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess you heard me. <laughs> like, I got you. And it's like, not, not right there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so just uh, some more Cronin pressure we've seen this time and time again. And the 6A from Kento. So, what happened there actually was interesting. Kento's JDs were very early, and those mm -hmm. early JDs are just barely plus. It makes it look like you can press a button, which you probably can't to be honest, but mm -hmm. visually it's like frightening. So I very much understand the position that these players are in when they're facing down this Cronin. Mm -hmm. oh. Those rogue DPs are just kind of hurting them. Yeah, yeah, I, I appreciate the attempts. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's 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 at least gonna get Cronin off for now. Now we just gotta find a way to get these right four bars spent. In. Yeah. Yeah, Kento's jumps for whatever reason. The, 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 Ooh, the, nice oh. shatter strike, but no confirm. Yeah. No okay, okay. Defensive throw. So. Isla probably a hundred health back or so. Yeah, somewhere around there. It's yeah. not gonna be looking great, but a little over a hundred health back gain back, and we'll see the Luong come in with two and a half. But um, one thing as well. So, okay, well, oh, a bit greedy there. I think Kenta was, and definitely on an easy. Eat some damage there. All right. Yeah, the consequences were felt there. Now he's in the corner, and he's going to be taking a lot of this sort of what I like to call charity damage. Damage that he didn't really have to donate, but, mm -hmm. you know, Connect will more than gladly accept. Oh, for sure. And just being put in the corner by, by Isla is just a scary thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Those, And, you know, uh, we didn't even see the mix-ups really just yet, so we'll probably see that in game two. Um, saving it for the later conditioning, I suppose. Uh, I think you try to go, try to throw the roll attempt. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. Great, great block. But no challenge. I think most of the time that's minus frames on block. Yeah. Yo, nice fake out. Yo, this, this sheet though is looking kind of nice. Yeah, definitely cooking, and you know he's still got five bars to work with. When the so time if you get the crits right, you can you can definitely melt Yori. Indeed, indeed. Nice. 
I mean, I'd almost like to see more, like, Shingo's Jump D is, like, a very good, like, very good. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Just EX Red Kick yeah, out of yeah, nowhere. Right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Gotta keep people honest, you know? Yeah, that was the first we've seen that thrown out, and you know, it's again, it's important to just introduce these variables when the situation calls for it. Mm -hmm. A lot of meter to be spent. I think we'll have to see some guard cancels for it to be efficiently used. Otherwise, we're just going to see these stray hits over and over. Yeah, there's the guard cancel number one. But Kento right back in just like that. Oh. Ooh, critical DP, alright. I love to see it. I cannot believe that beat Iori's JCD. Yeah. One touch territory. If that gets the hit, he could do he could maybe kill. Both of them kinda. Low key. Yeah. Like this this is like a one touch yep. Oh, jump yeah. CD. Jump CD. Very, very fast, of course, and Kenta will go up. Taking the first game now. Connect pull like I, I think that was actually very good from Connect. There wasn't a lot I would say that he did wrong really. Um, no. You know it'll have to be a bit tighter when he gets those chances, but uh, mm. those chances will come again. I, I can definitely believe. Like if he can do a, a little bit better job keeping Cronin out with Rugal this round, I think he'll be way better off. Yeah, that was probably the 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 um, matchup where he had. The least control was definitely the Cronin. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Ooh, punch that 6A. Yeah, see, he wasn't afraid of the fact that the first DP was blocked. Because I, I personally felt like that DP was blocked sort of luckily. Like, it was just like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm blocking already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good stuff from Connect believing in the DP. Well, and what's really nice is, like, in the previous game, two of his, like, two or three of his DPs were, like, baited or, you know, like, improperly timed. But, like, he's still like, no, I'll still do it. <laughs> like, it's not out of my toolkit. Exactly, yeah. Which is, which is very important. Like, you can't get frustrated, like, because that's what they want you to do is to not use your tools. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. So if, if you're just like, yeah, I'll still do it. And it's been great. This one has been, like, even though that 6A is going to finish off their Mega Rugal, very little amount of health going to be gained back here. In fact, if any at all. Yeah, very little. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, like, you might have to cash out super, but it is looking... This is like a one combo for Isla. Just yeah. have to spin the bar. There's the guard cancel. Yes! Ooh, nice. I love seeing this because, look, that's death. There you go. Meter well spent. Spent the everything. The importance of cashing out and getting rid of a problem. Yeah. Target acquired. Mm -hmm. Target destroyed. And now in comes the long. So another target has to be eliminated here. The job's not done yet for Isla. Oh no. Oh, the, the aggression. Yeah, not the starter you want to be eating. Close D. Oh, I didn't believe that. Oh, wow. Okay. I think she Ooh. was crouched so low that it just missed the punish attempt. I uh, must must have. Man, that Luong came in hungry. Hungry she did. And this Shingo, <laughs> unfortunately, you know, two bars. Not as much as last time. Yeah. Because the Isla was removed so quickly. Hmm. Got to cross up a new area reset. Indeed. Oh, jump CD, okay. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be bad. And. Ooh, a nice roll punish. Yeah, and that should be a dead Shingo. And that is gonna put Kento up two games to zero. So, hmm. This one's a hard one to assess. On paper, it definitely went worse for Kinect. But again, I don't feel like it was as bad as it might have been suggested by these, uh, by the final result, which was Luong finishing off. Um, well, the I feel character. like it's it's one of those inches like in like instances where Kento like 
Connect gave an inch, and then Kento just like ran with it. it. Just took a mile. Yeah, good point. Sometimes the high damage can definitely uh, interfere with the, the proper assessment of what went wrong in some of these games. Oh yeah. Sometimes you just get you just get KOF. That's that's it. <laughs> yeah, for real. So yeah, important for those of you trying to learn at home. Um, don't you know? Don't get frustrated or perturbed by some of these times where you might take a lot of damage from a small mistake. Okay. Keep your head up and get the good jump in, just like connect right yep. here. And and that's that's dead. All right. Emphatic. Rugal eliminates the Cronin. Crucial, crucial elimination Ooh, he's for. Got a grip of health left too. Yeah, this is actually a really good position for connect. There's the DP. Oh, great jump from Kento. A little bit of a stare down, but back, back in the corner. Yeah, uh, yeah oh. that stance pressure is so tricky to deal with. Indeed, Ooh. indeed. I think he tried to do more in the combo, but just couldn't couldn't quite get yeah. it to come out. Oh, maybe he was trying to super cancel that, uh, the shield too. Or the reflector. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah, the, the <laughs> whiff recovery on the DP is, uh, unfortunate. But, still good stuff from Omega Rugal. Um, Izzo's coming in with almost three and a half. We'll see what she can make of it. Well, I wonder if they could have confirmed off that more. Yeah, I think so. It was a bit hard to adjust it to the situation, I imagine. Yeah. Oh, low profile the JCD. Oh, that's two Bs. Yeah. Oh, what a confirm. Yeah. And heart. Oh, missed the knockdown. It's okay, decent damage. I think Luong's supposed to get a combo. Okay, okay. okay. I was. <laughs> Luong, Luong did get a combo, but. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I was like, all these kicks aren't they supposed to be comboable? But, you know, uh, Kento not forgetting yeah. what he had to do at the last one. So, Shingo coming in now. Okay. Not Ooh, bad nice of a start. Red yeah, a regular red kick at that. <laughs> Ooh, trying to finish off with the overhead, but just mistimed it. Oh, oh no. no, this is... Oh, went for the cheeky DP and just got hit. Got blown up for it. Yeah. Oh, that was not a safe jump. Actually, he had a chance to DP there. <laughs> nice. <All right. laughs> With JD into the normal throw. There you go. There the, you go. The class. <coughs> so That's the setup. <coughs> All right, so this is very doable. Very doable. Apologies, guys. Had to cough there. It's getting hit with all these. Oop. Is that gonna anti? Oh my goodness! Oh, it does. Okay. And is this the end of Connect? Oh my! Oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, can you get the? You can get the ex. Oh. Oh. Well, doesn't need to. Yeah, I think off of the climax, you can get the uh, ex OTG. I believe so too. Yeah, a lot of characters get save jumps, so I imagine there's enough time for OTG yeah. as well. Um, so good stuff to Kento. The raw climax to Antair will give him the final game and allow him to take it over Connect 3-0. And so, Kento's putting on a clinic. Yeah, he's definitely feeling it. I think these good string of mat. <clears throat> Apologies, guys. Um, these string of matches, we've definitely seen him, um, grow grow more and more. Uh stable and you know he, he's he's starting he's starting to he's starting to uh like understand what he can take out in order to beat these players with his offense mm -hmm. on these characters for sure for sure okay so our next match is going to be connect versus ksa all right Again, I'm Team KSA, so I'll, I'll try to be unbiased. 
Over sure. No, you know, bias is allowed here. Bias is allowed here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll be. I'll be hella biased. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, we'll see again some combination of Luong and, I think, Mai. Yeah. <laughs> the the Mai Luong shell that's oh so popular. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys have been enjoying the match day so far. This has been match number four of C CBBL season five, being held for K15 and yeah. sponsored by SNK the Esports Sport Program. Um, for in with regards to like where we are in the schedule right now, I'm gonna say already, guys. Uh, so we're we're close to the we're, we just passed the two hour mark, um, not too long ago. And what I do expect is that this will run for at least four hours, including the intermission. However, this this does not mean that we'll get through all the matches that I've got. Um, scheduled here so i can guarantee you guys that we will not be playing past match number 20 so all the matches that are in the jacob gauntlet and the wi-fi warrior gauntlet will not be run um so just to say that again um the matches that are past number 20 which is ocean mat versus one regret beetle will not be run so if you are looking to get those matches run make sure to try to arrange them with your opponent um, between now and tuesday night and if you're not watching the stream, I'll go ahead and notify you guys as well um, once we get closer to our intermission. What do you think of the match day so far, Ponder Slot? Uh, I know it's been a lot of, you know, the Yoris, the the Mai's, but uh, like, what are some things that are standing out at least among uh, the mirrors and stuff? I mean, I I've been really impressed with this, like the adaptations a lot of people have been been making like on the fly so it's been really really interesting um i mean kind of uh, like i think a good way of putting it like we've been seeing a lot of the same characters but you can definitely tell the player that's piloting them like they have their personality into that into that character and are able to express how they want to express so Mm -hmm. Definitely a lot of character loyalty. I'm kind of a huge fan of seeing <laughs> character specialist, not necessarily loyalty, but no, it's all these matches have been really good. I mean, like it's I I don't like to throw out the phrase a close three zero, but there have been a lot of close three zeros. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Like it was three zero, but it was, they were close. They weren't really like getting stomped out or washed or anything. It was they had to struggle. So. Fully agree, and again, it's important. Even even when the scoreline might suggest otherwise, it's important to make it as close as you can. Again, it's just for mm. building up that confidence, especially when you face your future opponents. Um, some of those things that you uh, built up for yourself in the prior match can be a huge boon for you know matches that take place um, further down the match days. So it's good to yeah. allow yourself to you know level up, as we like to say. Um, and I, I like what you noted about um, about <clears throat> some of these like close three O's because a lot of these three O's actually could have very easily been three twos or three ones had there mm -hmm. been a couple of exchanges that went in the favor of the player that might have just been barely ahead and they just you know might have just needed a bit more damage to close finish out their combo um, weren't able to get that damage in and it went the other way which you know that that kind of two game swing is a huge deal yeah, especially if for sure you know that's the difference between one one and two zero right exactly and one thing i will note is I, i've noticed that a lot the common theme is has been players not cashing out the cashing out their bar their meter to get the get the character out like a lot of those close three o's would have been a lot closer if it was just they just weren't quite so greedy with the meter and just like let it rip a little from you know a little bit more but, but hey you live and you learn yeah absolutely so um ksa hasn't responded yet so uh i'm gonna err on the safe side and say that we'll move on to our next match which is going to be Omiomai and Ponder's slots, so let me oh. notify the players. Alright. Three, 
two, eight, nine, two, seven, four. All right, well, wish me luck. Yes, yes, all the best out there in the ring. So our next match is going to be Ponder Sloth versus Omiomai. We're going to set aside the Connect KSA match for now until KSA gives a response. Um, so, uh, Ponder Sloth, known for his... Uh oh No, no, don't tell me. Uh-oh. Uh no, 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 no. Okay, so you guys, uh, for this match that's upcoming, I'm going to be joined by Ocean Matt for commentary. Hello. What's up? What's up? Um, so, uh, Ocean Matt, we've seen um, a couple of these players play a lot of the same characters. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> uh, I'm thinking uh, Yori's pretty good. <laughs> I'd say Mai is still pretty good despite some of her nerves. Mm -hmm. I'd like to agree with that. Uh, I've run into many Mai's in my matches, and that character is pretty obnoxious to deal with. Yeah, I fully agree. And she did get a few nerfs, but, you know, to me, she's still she's still a very good character. Very competitive still, I'd say. Absolutely. Um, so I think Pondersloth, he plays um, Andy, Yuri... And he played Orochi Shermi last match day. And Orochi oh, Shermi really? was such a surprising but effective pick. Like, it, like he was using her for like some mix-ups that looked like Guilty Gear. <laughs> it was really crazy. <laughs> yeah, I played uh, Sloth uh, during the first round. Mm -hmm. He definitely played Andy and Yuri, if I remember correct. But the last character is escaping me. I want to say it might have been Whip, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't think he plays Whip, but his last character usually cycles between them, so we'll see what he picks this time. And it is the Orochi uh, Shermie. Yeah, so this will be cool. We'll see if Omiyomai has done his homework. Um, now, yeah. you're pretty familiar with Omiyomai, right? From, uh, yes, yeah. I would, I would say, I mean, I've been playing him as kind of like a training partner-ish for this uh the the Bruin Battle League mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so his team is pretty locked in on my Leon Chizuru um I know he dabbled a little bit in Orochi Shermi so I'd be interested to see if Maybe that knowledge will influence this match, but he's got to get through Yuri first, and 
you want to talk about characters that's a menace. Yeah. That's, the, that's probably one of the biggest winners of this patch. She's an insane character, and actually I just noticed that, in fact, Ponderslot has settled for Yuri Point, which is interesting because uh, he has used her mid a couple of times, and I do think in the mid position she's very effective. Oh my, that command throw went through the fireball. Oh, that was a little crazy. Oh, but doesn't spend the EX tree in. Yeah. Oh, nice jump. Okay, so it, it was close, but um, not close enough for Yuri to be defeated. So in comes Leona. Bit of a slugfest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, slugfest indeed. Okay, wake up deep yeah, good Throwing to see that early on. Favorable trade for Omiyomori. Yeah, that was interesting. I, I, <laughs> I guess the projectile would come out by the time the jump CD hit, which is strange, but... Ooh, yeah, so both of these characters have actually really good sweeps. Ooh, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get overhead. Pushes them back into the corner. Interesting air to air. He yeah. spends it all. Yeah, that's actually really smart. Look at the damage. Yeah. <laughs> I stand here. You're no conversion. Oh my goodness. Box across it? That was ambiguous. Yeah, yeah, I got hit there for sure. <laughs> and I, I played this character. <laughs> Alright, so the Crouch Vs finish off Leona. Now, the lot, he's going to have a lot of bar on this Chizuru 5, in fact. Um, hope we get to see the far D. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it will come into play. Mm -hmm. Whether or not you can convert off of it will be a different story. True, true. Right now he's just kind of getting nickel and dime in the corner. Oh, risky roll. Still just eating all of these stray hits. Yeah, at least got got him out of the corner, but oh, there's the far oh, D. Oh. Oh, but it drops the conversion. Oh, but doesn't matter. <laughs> no matter at all. So. Convert on that. Still had enough maximum time to use the EX, and thankfully, still gonna have three bars. But I don't know if he's seen <laughs> uh, Ponder Slot Shermy just yet. We'll see how he deals with her. Yeah, I would imagine Chizuru could decently deal with. Zoning. Yeah, I, I think the same. Oh, but not I when. That actually that might be, be dead. Yeah, that's yeah. dead. Oh, that's, yeah, that's so totally dead. Oh my goodness. What a stellar fight. Yeah, Ponder Sloth, definitely a player that spends every single ounce of meter, and you know who's to blame, right? Because that was literally, you know, GG shake my hand territory. Yeah. If I recall from uh, the set that I played against Sloth, uh, he uses Shadow Strike very sparingly, but exactly at the time that you should. Yeah, I feel like his success rate on the Shadow Strikes has been excellent. Like, yeah, that's what SNK probably intended with the mechanic. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of mechanic, I, I love the way Sloth goes for these normal throws. He goes for them pretty often, and they feel like they have a pretty good success rate as well. Ooh, nice, nice throw to bait out the dash. Yeah. Oh, okay. Threw the whiff CD into the command room. Yeah, Ponder Sloth definitely likes going for that as a conditioning element. What a jump. Oh, no. That was such a great jump. I mean, even if yeah. Homiomai had somehow recovered in time, he would have had to block the cross up as well. <laughs> first round plays out pretty much exactly the same as it did the first match. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, interesting. It's interesting. Um, that command throw is actually techable. Um, it looks like Homiomai just opted for the delay get up. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Here. Got it. Oh, but misses at that time. Oh, oh but doesn't spend the meter. 
I think he wanted to do DP, but thought against it at the last minute. But the, uh, the full charge Koken goes right through the, the earring bomb, sadly. Yeah. I feel like that's one tool that Omiya might kind of uses too often. Yeah, I can agree with that. It, it's it's a lot slower than previous games, um, but yeah. what's not slow is um, the speed at which Yuri was finished off there. So, in comes Andy. Do a nice nice jump in. No cross up that time. Who doesn't convert on the Fardy? Oh, big whiff on the sweep, but no punish. These, these two C's have been pretty good. Catching stuff in the air. Oh, good control keeping Amy in the corner here. Oh, Ooh, I agree. But doesn't punish the, the C shoulder tackle. Mm -hmm. But. Omiyo Mai is still doing a pretty good job of controlling the pace and the space, but as I say that, he gets put in the corner. And as I say that, he makes his way out of the corner. Yeah, great confirm too with the oh, super. <laughs> a little interesting uh, hitbox interactions with the Andy 6A and the Emblem. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. A little, little Guilty Gear 6P action. <laughs> yeah, why did they buff that? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, nice conversion on the 6B, but too high to juggle. Ooh, the air shadow strike hit. This is going to be big damage. Oh, but drops it. Still good, still good chance for both players, actually. Yeah. Miyomai is still one close, uh, one far D cancel away from winning. Yeah, true. Oh, bad answer. Oh, oh my god, the sweep under in the throw. And oh, but the shadow strike again. Wow. Yeah, he's getting away with murder on these shadow strikes, honestly. That was not a meaty from Miyomai, and had it been a meaty, oh. that would have been clipped clean. But, yes. of course, he's just saying in hindsight. Regardless, Pondersloth will find himself up two games to zero. And actually, I think this match has been pretty close, but I do think Omiyama has to find his footing on the Leona in order to regain the edge in this one. Yes, definitely. Round one. I'd like to see him maybe play a little more conservatively with his Mai. Agreed. I mean, honestly, though, Yuri's tools are just so good against Mai. I, gu I guess I understand why he picked uh, Yuri point now. Mm. Yeah, here's six again, something started. Mm -hmm. Hard knockdown. For B to get out of the corner. A risky one at that because that was actually plus frames on the C token. Or not no. plus, but a slightly minus. Really. Oh no, the whiff sweet. Or the slide. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Be careful. Uh... Frame trap 2B. He did a little run in to delay the timing. I think caught Omiomai's button press or something. So, Leona with two bars. Massive six B <laughs> catching the jump. <laughs> yeah, it does that quite often. Um, so good option. Andy versus Leona. Round start stands to deep. whiffs completely. That's part of the nerves on that move, unfortunately, because SNK just hates this character for some reason. <laughs> Ooh, bad, bad reversal, but doesn't get punished for it. Oh. Oh, doesn't doesn't get the full conversion that could have been huge. Oh no, the bad reversal again. And oh, again, no, he's. I, that's a dead Leona for sure. Oh, absolutely. Man, yeah. yeah. Like some of the frustration might be coming out on Omiyama's side. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 
Definitely feels a bit shaky, the Leona there, but hopefully Chizuru can at least uh, iron out the patches here. Oh, big punish. Nice, and the seal super as well. Doesn't spend the extra meter, but... Oh no. Oh, but can't can't confirm off of it because of the super. Yeah. <laughs> There's the punish. Oh, that could have been huge. Yeah, I think you just didn't realize that it would punish. Chip One more territory. Hit. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. It's fair. Well, might as well do the DP, right? You're gonna die to chip might as anyway. Well. Yeah. <laughs> if it hits, you can potentially get a super cancel. Yeah, exactly. So we're back to the there we go. Oh, slide max mode. Nice cancel. This is gonna go straight into climax. Okay, this is this is great. This is really good. Yeah. So close to seventy percent. Extra hit here and there. Still has to be careful. Orochi Shermie sitting on four and a half bars a meter. Oh, the oh, and low, the crush. low crush! Yeah! <laughs> I, I hate that. <laughs> she does not need that. <laughs> that was a very, very low crush. Like, that that thing, like, just was like 3D. Like, the, like that was like a sidestep almost. Like, the 3D space, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, I have no idea why they decided to add extra. Uh, low crush frames on that move. Yeah. <laughs> but, very strong option because it is cancelable as we just saw. Now, I feel like this could be a huge momentum swing for Amilma. Agreed, yeah. We've, we've talked about earlier in the stream these like swings from 3 to 0 or 2 to 0 in the other way, like in the other direction to make it 2 to 1 or you know 1 to 1 or whatever. Um, really important for just building some confidence and um, you know it gives you a chance to play all three of your characters again so that's uh, that's very important for also just getting more comfortable in the matchups ooh slide almost escapes but it doesn't need a very big punish mm -hmm. nice block on the crossover yeah, he's been good on, he's been good at blocking those this game so hasn't been good at escaping the CD setup for the command grab. Yeah, actually. Oh, oh, lands the two A, but doesn't convert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he's landed every single one. The uh, stand CD oh. and the command throw. Okay, so my sent Hard to away. Catch so fast. Doesn't it is. Doesn't get a whole lot of health back, but he had quite quite the lead. So. Mhm. Mm Still had a pretty big advantage, and this Leona is gonna have to come up strong. Oh, baited the far C. Oh, trades with the fireball, unfortunately. Oh, risky Excalibur. I feel like uh, Sloth has really like s switched up his gameplay for this Leona pick. Throwing out a lot more like, charge fireballs and content with just zoning and chipping away at Leona's health. Yeah, that's true. You know, interestingly enough, like Leona can actually punish on reaction with V slash or from full screen, but uh, I understand the risks that are present. You know, he probably wants to save the meter as well in case there's mm -hmm. uh, other interactions. Yeah. But for now, Yuri down. Yeah. Unfortunately, he kills her one second too late. But that, is it going to matter? <laughs> Oh no. oh no, he drops the flash kick. Yeah, actually, I think even if he had done the input, it would have not hit because there was a crouching hit. And for some reason, uh, there's like more pushback, so it's stupid. <laughs> I see. Yeah. I'm not a. Oh no, he had the hit. Yeah, and he actually just built max mode on those crouch keys as well. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, nice whiff punish. It's beautiful. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, the sweep, the sweep takes it. Yeah, huge I, turnaround. Like, first time we're seeing Omiyomai's Leona against Orochi Shermi. Yeah, also the first time Leona's eliminated a character clean, so. Uh, unfortunately, no meter. Oh, no. Oh. A bit of an ambitious punish going for the jump in like that. Yeah, I did it perhaps a bit too early. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that did exactly 100, it looked like. <laughs> so, 
Once again, match point or set point for Sloth sitting on four and a half bars. Oh, yeah. Neomai sitting on considerably less meter than he has before, but just built the max mode. Oh, there's oh a... whiffs a big shatter strike from a punish. Yeah, I think, I think he, I think that was actually favorable for Pondra slot. Got Omiyama to waste a bit of the meter, mm -hmm. and now he can just kind of turtle a little bit. You want to talk about turtling? Uh, Omiyama is comfortable doing that too, and just does the wake up two C. <laughs> no respect. <laughs> no respect whatsoever. Oh, okay, okay. No guard oh. cancel. I think that would have been good to do there. Oh, but doesn't. Oh. oh. Oh no! Does it convert? Oh, okay, that's huge. Oh no! Oh Shadow my! Shadow Strike again! All right, he's getting a little too crazy with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the more you use it, the more it works yeah. theoretically. But then, in actuality, the more yeah. it can also not work. <laughs> Can't show your hand too much. Yeah. Um. But at least she's showing both her hands, showing that I can beat you. And it's two to two, actually. Wow. I mean, you know, I think I think I, I was feeling like Sloth could have closed it out, but oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, that shows how close like, this one has been. Mm -hmm. I felt like Sloth was actually winning the zoning war with Orochi Shermi just because the the bombs would detonate before the Cheezer clone would even reach Shermi. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But me and my taking a commanding lead, but Sloth is chipping away back. You know, these normal throws have been so spot on. Oh, Ooh, nice oh. low profile. Mm -hmm. Just ducks under the jump in and punishes with the close C. Yeah, the 2C, the 2B. Um, Omiyomai has been using those excellently to low profile the jump ins and. Uh, Ponder Slot, definitely not a stranger to the full jumps. Um, he likes doing that a lot with these characters, especially to have good jump Ds. <laughs> yeah, as you were saying. Yeah. Ooh, doesn't get the full conversion. Oh. Nice, nice D doesn't have a meter to convert further. Ooh, and the jump A air to air. That That is another privilege button. Yeah, truth. <laughs> very, very active. Has plenty range and very fast so so suddenly ponder slot staring on the other side of a match point and i can't oh. help but i can't help but feel like omio my is slowly starting to regain his footing slowly but yes. steadily my is definitely his strongest character so mm -hmm. the fact that he's able to take down yuri and progress further is very very strong for him Exactly. Mm -hmm. A great interrupt. Not a true block thing. Immediate guard cancel blowback. I, I like it, but... He's really it, but yeah. The close C allows yeah. Omiomai reverse 3-0 uh, and a 3-2 victory in his favor. Yeah. I feel like all of those matches except for the except for the last one were like very close down to the wire. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know, I'm not sure if it was as much as it was conditioning or I, I don't think it was as much conditioning as it was comfort like the use I mean I was slowly gaining like you know the confidence enough to uh as you said with his strongest character take it all the way home. Because uh, I don't know if like I mean, of course there were some mis like you know small mistakes maybe from the Rochi Shermi that produced the situation itself. But aside from that, I mean, he did like Omiomai just like seized the opportunity basically, and that's what allowed him to get the win. Mm -hmm. All right, so next up we'll be seeing um, an earlier match that we. Uh, had set aside briefly, but it's going to be Connect versus KSA, which is my goodness for match number eight. So, given that we're two and a half hours in, we're definitely um, we're definitely not going to be able to fit everything that we planned today. But 
uh, which is fine. I mean, as long as we get to see as much KO as possible, um, I think I'll be content either way. Let's see. Okay, um, so connects in the room, and I'm not sure if Ponder Slot's gonna rejoin. He might. He might hang out for a bit because he's got other matches after this one that's coming up. Okay, so Connect versus KSA. We saw these two play earlier on stream today. Connect with the Omega Rugal, and we we're seeing the exact same team from both of them. Um, <laughs> some, some more Mai. <laughs> yeah. KSA definitely has a much different uh, style of Mai, I would say. Yeah, agreed, agreed. I feel like... Both him and Omiyama are fairly strong at like controlling space with the with their fans and like strong defensive options with their lights. But I feel like uh, KSA is just overall more aggressive in general. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we saw him using this pressure. Yeah, I was gonna say this. Uh... The wall, yeah, the wall claim. Mm -hmm. Good reflect. It'll be interesting to say, ooh, some of the heavy gem side cutter. Just dive kicks out of the corner, catches a Omega Rubble. Can you jump CD? <laughs> no one respecting our wake up today. Ooh, just a little shy on the genocide cutter. So am I getting the first uh, first character down? Now Isla, she's pretty tricky, honestly. I'm not sure if uh, KSA's done the homework on Isla, but anytime I face her, I have trouble understanding what she's going to do next. <laughs> yeah, pretty tricky, like, pressure reset situations with, like, the... The, when she does the air handstand, and then she can come down with the overhead and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But who crosses up? I'm not sure what she was trying to do. Might have been a DP, ended up into something else. Oh! A big whiff on the Shadow Strike. Yeah, that was pretty audacious, but I understand, you know, like, you might as well spend it since your next character's gonna get it back anyway. And, uh, we know Luang. Yeah, Luang definitely a character that benefits from a lot of meter. Mm hmm. I mean, Especially, even. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. But does he have the. Okay, just goes for the basic one there. Yeah. Which that is, is one thing I will say about KSA's Luang is I don't think he is. I, don't, I can't say that I've seen him try the, uh, her new routes all that often. Yeah, he's gone for them a few times, but not as, not as much as. Uh, I would say has like scared his opponent just yet. We'll see if he starts to bring them out slowly through this match. A conversion. Oh, Ooh, a little shy. And there it is, the extra overhead. Oh, CD. There's the overhead again. Where's yeah, the dive kick? The EX one combo bull, but I think he's. Trying to get a bit more than he needed to, but regardless, the stand CD will finish off the long. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, Anchor Andy. Andy's sitting on almost a full stack of meter. One thing, I, one, one thing to watch out for KS, uh, KSA's Andy, you always need to be aware of the DP and the climax. <laughs> he will he will throw it out at any given moment. 
I don't blame him at all. I mean, not, not only does that climax look sick, but plenty of damage as well, of course. Absolutely. Oh, you might spend climax here. Oh, okay. Besides the save it. Oh, okay. I guess you didn't need to spend it. Yeah, fair enough. Two touch. Yeah. <laughs> KOF be like that. Really do. Not, not much to say on the Shingo. <laughs> yeah, I really didn't get a chance to play. <laughs> didn't, didn't get any chance. You got hit with 1 2B and then maybe tried to tech a throw and got it clipped by a 2A. Mm -hmm. So nice turnaround from KSA considering, you know, he wasn't really ahead for most of that, but it was a good comeback. Oh, nice confirmed. Oh my goodness. Turn out a little too many Rakukins. KSA is just kind of full jumping over them. He's playing a lot more defensively in this corner. Oh, nice. There, there's some active defense to escape the flying squirrel block screen. Nice cancel on the first C. Doesn't get anything more and just, <laughs> <laughs> just, just throws it out. Your <laughs> bra. Oh my goodness. It was probably going to chip, so I guess yeah. that was reasonable. But last time this matchup went very much in Isla's favor, so let's see if KSA can make the proper adjustments to maintain this lead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So far, he's got good control. Definitely. Uh, the most we important part. Oh yeah, that roll was really good. Uh, you know, barely avoided the guard cancel, which was good because you saved the meter. Now, an important part about uh, what I think KSA should be aiming for here, you should try to just delay the time as much as possible so that Isla doesn't gain that much health back, even if my loses, or even if my, yeah, even if my loses. Uh, but right now has the lead. Yeah, has to be careful though. Mm -hmm. Sitting on max meter though on my. Yeah, it shows how little he's needed it so far, at least. Yeah. Jesus. Mine's just so strong at, like, controlling that space and just tacking on that damage hit by her. Mm hmm. And the Ryuan Boo. Uh. That looked like heavy Ryuan Boo, so that had to have hit, otherwise, punish was ensuing. Alright. Maybe we'll see uh, Shingo have a chance to play this time. And oh, that's that a that chance. Should be a punish. Oh dear. Oh, but doesn't. I I don't even know what he could have done to follow that up. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking red kick. Okay, regardless, great jump. Um, so my, you know, eliminated right, but this still doesn't feel comfortable. Next character is coming in with max meter, long no less. <laughs> Yeah. Anywhere is uh, anywhere on the screen is a threat when you're fighting against the Mhm. Mm a nice jump B. Doesn't quite get the conversion though. Ooh. Oh, had the hit there, but didn't take it. Oh. Can, oh, that should be it. Very, very much so. And this is the uh, boys and girls climax. Oh, what? Dude, not quiet. Still has a chance. There must have been scaling, I guess. Mm. Okay, nice. By the two B. So KSA find this stuff up two to zero, and that shows how just how important it was for him to secure that first game, um, because now he secured this one definitely. You know, more convincingly, I'd say. Um, mm -hmm. Kept the lead on that Mai for a very long time and had full control. Um, you know, didn't give Kanek any glimmer of hope. So we'll see if he can turn that around for this game. And I think the most important 
start to that will definitely be if this Rugal can get going. Round one. Ready? Go! He seems to be having a hard time dealing with uh, like nice zoning and just overall control with their buttons. For sure. Doesn't really believe in the anti air. Uh, who doesn't convert? Yeah, the most difficult part is that Rugal's buttons aren't the aren't the quickest, and they aren't the, the farthest reaching depending on uh, the button you use. Oh, but here's a chance. This takes a throw. Who <laughs> mashes after the jump CD? That was brave. Bro, raw ex rewen boo. Mega Rugal still not still not out of it yet, but nice defensive uh, closey from my. Yeah, she's got a good you know suite of those fan rolls to deal with the airspace decently. Yeah, take your take your pick. Mm -hmm. Oh, connect means business here. Yeah, I could tell the minute he was starting to attack KSA into that corner. He wanted to get rid of this Maya as quickly as possible, and so yeah. he did. Yeah, this... I think going back to the first game, that sort of aggro easeless style was what made it close in the first place, but wasn't really able to get that going in the previous match. Yeah, exactly. But now, definitely taking more control. Where's the first C, though? And doesn't block the oh, cross and drop the thunder what again. What a reset. I got so hit there. And that is the could be dead. Cash out. Okay, didn't spend the two bars. Fair enough. It's still a commanding lead. Yeah, just like that. All the effort that Isla put in. In eliminating the Mai. Yeah, was it for naught? Massive, massive CD. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What a swing from KSA. So now... Match point for him. Just all he has to do is get rid of the Shingo. Yeah, Let's see it. Hitting on max meter though, but hasn't really decided to spend it even on Shingo. It seems. Mm -hmm. Oh, Just waiting for that one magic hit. Okay. A little far to punish. Yeah, that was actually pretty well spaced of a shatter strike. Worked out really well. Oh no! <laughs> no punish on the either side. Good punish on the with CD. Oh, another one. Yeah. He's threading the needle, trying to find the timing to jump so that he can catch her on the way down. Can't waste too much time. Who gets the critical hit? Jumps out of the overhead. Oh, that Ooh, could be it. Oh no, doesn't doesn't finish his food. Oh my goodness. Oh no, oh, no. Oh. You hate to see it. <laughs> well, depending on who you're rooting for, you might love to see that Shingo's got one more chance here. <laughs> one more chance, but killed at 19 seconds. Not going to get a bunch of health back. Oh my god. And the, an immediate DP. You were just talking theory. about that. <laughs> yeah. Not the climax that time, but not, he had it prime not the, still. Not the climax, but he's always ready to let it rip. Yeah, that was great awareness, great instincts, great recognition. Oh, he messed up the level three. He actually wanted level three apparently, <laughs> but it worked out. <laughs> Wait, actually, yeah. how do you even get that level one from that input? Because I think they're opposite directions. But anyway, uh, KSA will definitely appreciate being the beneficiary of that, and he'll take a three-zero over Connect. Congrats. Maybe you tried to do level 1 into level 3 and accidentally got EX. But, <laughs> regardless. <laughs> oh, apparently there was rollback. That might uh, have influenced it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good stuff to both players. So, um, guys, we're going to now introduce our inter intermission. I know it's well ahead of what was planned in our schedule. We still had, um, I believe, uh, what is this? What, what did we just see? 
This was... Connecting KSA. Oh, yeah. Th yeah, this is definitely well ahead of schedule. But, um, you know, we're, we're at the two-hour, 46-minute mark. So I want to give you guys a bit of a break. Or you could decide to st stick around and watch some goofy old Rugo Ball um, as part of our <laughs> King's Carnival matches. So hope you guys will enjoy this exciting segment of our... Um, of our, I guess, show today. Uh, so basically, to explain what Rugal Ball is, um, if you guys are familiar with Rose Ball, it's from um, from Street Fighter Four. It's basically that where it's, you know it's like you you do like ping pong style fireball wars, except you can only use the basic movement options, not including jump, and then those fireballs and the, the reflector that Rugal has already. Um, they were going to sort of referee the instances where players might make a mistake or do an illegal move that wasn't allowed um, is that will allow the other player to apply a damage penalty equivalent to the mistake. So basically, let's say that player accidentally landed a DP, well then the other player gets DP back um, for free. Or if the player dodges the, dodges the fireball like by jumping or by ducking instead of by reflecting um, or by negating the fireball, then a fireball they have to take basically a fireball hit as the penalty so those are the sorts of rules we'll be implementing here guys um first up we've got shranius and aligo this perhaps will be our only match it depends on how long it takes really but we wanted to feature this intermission just as a fun little thing for you guys to enjoy and if you're ever interested in participating in rugo ball as part of our king's carnival um please feel free to let us know in the respective thread um you guys are always welcome to join us for this. And in fact, you could, you could, uh, I think we're still taking spots for this right now during the intermission. I think, um, I think we're still waiting on a word from Siano here. Are you familiar with Rose Ball, um, Ocean Matt? Um, I have like passing knowledge. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean that's you know it's pr it's pretty straightforward. So you know the first glimpses you'll get of it here, um, you'll you'll kind of have an idea of what uh, what's going on. Let me see. I'm curious to see how it'll interact with Rugal because. Are, are they only limited to using Rapukin, or are they also using the, the eye laser? So basically, oh yeah, I didn't explain this part. So the serves, basically services are done where player one will get five services. Um, they can choose to send out any fireball they would like. So the high fireball, the low fireball, the EX, the regular, the the C version, you know, etc. They basically, they're able to serve whatever type of fireball they want. Um, and after that fireball, disappears they get to serve until they run out of their serves and then player two gets to use five of their serves and then you know they keep going until the timer runs out whoever has more health obviously gets the round win um now unfortunately i have to reset the room because i am silly and forgot to um <laughs> remake the member, room member match or team match yeah yeah so um i left the room i'm not sure if it kicked them out probably didn't Forgot to do single versus, so apologies, guys. Yeah, sorry guys, it was a bit hectic this time around because a lot of the scheduling was uh, thrown together sort of last minute, but um, thanks for bearing with us here. Yeah, 
and yeah to reiterate the rules um basically the first round the player one side player gets to serve first and they get five serves and then once they run out of those five serves player two side player gets to serve and keep in mind that because you're allowed to use any version of the fireball any version of the reflector um you'll be able to throw off your opponents in a manner um and 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 you know some way depending on which fireball version you use so just you know it's good to change it up to throw off their timing um, and that's how you get those hits in that add up to your victory now um there's one other thing i know i'm forgetting oh yes so before you start um i i would suggest to both of you guys i know you're watching the stream i would suggest to both of you guys that you uh um, backdash at the beginning of the round, backdash to the edge of the screen to signify that, hey, I'm ready for the serve to be thrown. Um, just so that there's no confusion, um, there's no chaos in that regard. And then also, um, yes, that's right, Siano, you're not allowed to block, you're not allowed to duck, you're not allowed to jump. You have to reflect the fireball, but you are allowed to backdash and um, run forward, walk forward, all of those. So here we go. Um, this is Sunday night Rugal Ball between Shranius and Alago. I feel like we're going to see a, a few uh, initial violations oh. out of uh, muscle memory. Oh yeah, 100%. Like, like blocking fireballs. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so they're both edges of the screen. And now player one side can serve. Okay, a little teabag to... Uh, so that they're, they're ready. Here we go. Oh, already oh. Shranius. <laughs> this is in the first serve. So Shranius serves again. Because you just keep going until you run out of your serves. Shranius. Yep, there you go. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> Alright, go for it, you guys. Service number three. Here we go. Oh. Reflected oh. <laughs> a little too late. <laughs> Alright, that's number four. Fast. Yeah, they are fast. Alright, so that's five serves from Shranius, so Alago's turn. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, that's first serve. Yeah, little, little that counts. Play it, play it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Too soon. Yeah, a little change in that timing. Yep. Doing the sea fireball this time, so Alago's serve once again. Oh. Yeah, you see, changing up these fireball timings can be really tricky for the other players. So now Shranius' turn. Oh, whoops. Well, Shranius' turn now. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone try to throw out an EX yet, but... Yeah, not so far. You know, eventually they'll catch on. Uh-oh. Uh oh Oh, he's time-wasting. Oh! Oh! One second left! Oh! Shranius buzzer beater with that last fireball. Okay, okay. So Alago is going to start uh, this round serving once both players back to the edge of the screen. All right. First touch goes to Alago. Oh, was that an attempt at EX Reflector? <laughs> I think it might have been EX Rapukin. Was too slow. Yeah, perhaps. Oh my goodness, that was fast. The EX Reflect doesn't do anything for him there. Yeah, that's... Uh, we'll talk about this uh, come soon, but... Yeah, the the EX Reflect is... <laughs> not not useful. Oh, blocked, blocked Fireball, so penalty. Not. Oh, okay, there we no. go. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, there we go. So both players remembered that the penalty is applied. I wonder if we're going to start seeing a little more EX Fireball action, because on the one hand it is useful, but at the same time... Oh! oh. Okay, this is, is going to be is like... That a, is that a, that's a big violation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to do damage roughly equal to that. So like, do like another one. Trainus, do like another... <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay, oh, no. okay. Oh no, it's Bedlam. Yeah, yeah. Does there he, we go. Does he okay. know how to do the super? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. 
that that was basically enough damage. Like I think Trainers would have won anyway, with that penalty applied. So everything's fine there. Okay, so Stranius takes our first bout of Rugal Ball. Congrats to Stranius. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was pretty funny. I know obviously both players, you know, getting the hang of, uh, getting the hang of, you know, the Rugal Ball rules, but uh, good effort from both of them. I appreciate seeing it. Yellow card. <laughs> That's a violation. It's a foul. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Oh, let me see if uh, Siano's down. I'm down. I'm down to play against him, just so you guys can see. Like, we we played a bit of the Rugal Ball already between each other, so we can show you like the meta gamed stuff that we've been practicing, and then that'll hopefully inspire you guys at home to lab your Rugal Reflex. <laughs> Get two, two seasoned Rugal Ball veterans. Yes, yes. Here comes new challenger. So, uh, my turn now. Let me. <laughs> I have to multitask with the scoreboard stuff. So let me get that ready. The most important part about Rugal Ball is picking the right color. So you get to see yourself. <laughs> the same color yeah i think you're right oh okay i got oh, my color right. yeah, yeah. Round one. Ready? Yeah. oh whoops wait uh oh what the Are your buttons wrong yeah maybe oh my goodness <laughs> what is going on there we go okay okay yeah i think my buttons are wrong but I found the I found the button eventually. Yeah. Ooh, I, I, I see I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. I'm 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 starting to understand the meta shift. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Gotta sneak in those dashes to change the fireball speed. Exactly. Ah, dang. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, dang. It's my, I think it's my serve. I'm just blazing through this one. Oh no! <laughs> the EX. Oh, dang. Oh no! <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> Again, no yellow cards on both sides. I threw that. Almost threw that. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Doesn't seem like serve EXs are paying off for either of you. Yeah. Oh ah, dang, I messed that up. Yeah, da dash up reflector is actually pretty hard. <laughs> dash up reflector seems like broken. It is, yeah. Ah, whoops. Can't get too ambitious though. Yeah. And again, <laughs> serving with the EX is not paying off. Yeah. Oh, nice change of time in there. And again. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the cab, but we're so so. Uh oh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your 
were beginning to believe. Oh my goodness, the speed. Yeah, yeah. Ah, dang. <laughs> it kind of backfires too, because if you take your own fireball, that's really bad. <laughs> guys are throwing haymakers at each other. For real. Diana with the slight lead. Oh, no! Oh, jumps over. Diana just needs to chill. Wait. Oh, what? no! <laughs> Wait. I don't even know what the <laughs> I think <laughs> I think there are like I two penalties there. <laughs> offsetting penalties. <laughs> yeah. Cruz she takes it. Okay, that was pretty funny. Yeah, I was I was trying to show the, the metagame stuff we came up with, but I messed up a lot of the dashes. But yeah, dashing forward, if you can if you can input the reflector like cleanly while you're dashing forward, then it's really strong. Because uh throws off their timing but I think the other part that's pretty hard to incorporate is like using the heavy reflector which is slower but more active like you can use that to just visually confuse them uh, but yeah that's that's the that's the fun stuff that I wanted to show you guys uh, during the intermission so hope you guys enjoyed it we'll go back to our reg reg regularly scheduled programming now <laughs> um, with the match day Let's see. Team. Um, what's up next? Okay, what do we just I think do? If we're, if we're going off the initial schedule, I think I might be next. Can... Hmm. Hold on. So, the, the players that just played before we did that was KSA. Kanek and KSA. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so next is Ponder Sloth and Omiomai. Did they already play though? I feel like. They did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. I was going to say. Okay, so next is. Let's see. Kento Ponder Sloth. They played already. Um, Ponder Sloth, Jub Jub. I think that's the one that's next. Okay, so again, guys, hope you guys have been enjoying the match day so far. Um, again, we're not going to be able to get through every match, which is probably to no surprise for any of you. Um, but in terms of where we'll end up, um, wait, whoa, what the? Wait, where were we? Oh, yeah, yeah okay, we're on this page, yeah. So yeah, next up after this is going to be Ocean Map versus Senryoku, and then um, potentially Rig Days versus Sarah. I'm not sure if they're around here, but let me at least see if Senryoku is still around. Yeah, you guys can start when ready. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm the reason why you guys aren't starting. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so Zenryoku says it's too late for him. Um, so uh, I, I guess we'll play him uh, uh, whenever you guys have time between tomorrow and Tuesday. Alright, so Ponder Sloth versus Jub Jub. <laughs> Another Yori. Um, and more fireballs, of course, as well. Round one, ready, go! Oh, yes! 
be interesting to see how how this Yuri matchup shakes out. Yeah, I think I think Jub Jub, you know, since he's probably been watching the previous matches, hopefully he's got a plan for this Yuri. Oh my goodness. And it is getting mauled though. Oh, it messes up his combo. Yeah, huge drop. Because that was a corner Yeah, definitely. Resets the full screen. Mm -hmm. Pretty much even. Ooh, rolled out of the mix up. Yeah, that's supposed to. Be oh, what a bait. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, that's supposed to be an anti-roll setup, actually, so maybe just misspaced it or something. But, uh, he'll still yeah, take it. Yeah, it did look... Yeah. It looks like he attempted it, because he, he ended up getting a whiff, uh... Whiff close C. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're just mashing the close C. Yeah. Trying to catch the hops. Oh, nice, anti -air. A little too far to get the full conversion. Who trades with the EX. Jumped up getting a little too comfortable throwing out these bodegas. Oh, drop the oh, ender. DPs to close out the round. Yeah. Par for course, but... You know, Andy still doesn't have to do too much here. Just a little bit under uh, 50%. Yeah. Oh, and Ooh, that could very easily be Really, hit. really, really bad DP. <laughs> and just like that, five seconds five seconds it took and kills down. In comes Iori with I think three bars, close to four. Oh big jump. This is gonna lead to huge damage. Doesn't spend it all, which I kind of agree with. Who jumps right over the sweep, this should be dead. Indeed. And a clean half, uh, not half a bar, one bar to take out Andy. Yeah. Just like that, it's completely evened up now. Share me with a slight meter advantage, but. Yeah, just about the same number of touches. Side. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Once he already gets into that four bar range, that's when you really have to start worrying about the damage potential. Mm -hmm. As if it wasn't good already. Mm -hmm. nice, nice roll out of the corner. Tries to catch, catches him with the TC. Ooh, nice taco kick cross up. Doesn't get the conversion though. Oh, that could be a dead Iori. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> It'd be close. Doesn't get all of the hits. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure about the super selection. Yeah, I think he messed it up. He kind of stood still for a bit. Oh, what a jump. What a jump. Beautiful. Yeah, that, that missed uh, taco kick conversion was crucial, it seemed like. Um, I, th I can't remember if it was... Uh, I can't remember if it was a counter it or something that caused it to be a bit iffy, but um, regardless, Ponder Sloth will be the beneficiary. Go up 1 0. Round one. Ready? Go! He's stuck under the CD. Doesn't get a punish for it, though. Jubs has been kind of getting away with a lot of these defensive roles. Yeah, definitely more than typical, um, at least from Ponder Slot. He's usually pretty good on punishing those, but... <laughs> the double 2C to low profile. Yeah. Looks like he might have missed the run-up throw there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh. getting, it's getting clipped by these C-normals. Mm -hmm. It doesn't finish his play. Oh no! Oh <laughs> no! Up. The spaghetti! Okay, run up throw. Yeah. And player one clinches the first round. <laughs> that was a little tricky, the hit hurt box interaction with the air fireball. Mm -hmm. Crossing of Athena. Ooh, nice meaty on the demon flip. 
Yep, you can use confirm. Oh, what a block. Oh, wow. Just throws immediately. Nice crosser. Oh, but oh, doesn't cash out. This is the Uchinogi. Oh, another great block. Right. Nice punish. Two for two on blocking the Keep overhead. Keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Bibs Kyo's been playing pretty strong, although I feel like his conversions have been a little lacking. Yeah, part of what makes Kyo very strong, especially now, is that damage. You need to be able to dish it out to make full use of his uh, tools. Nice close D dance here. Oh, we're getting a little tricky. <laughs> yeah. And spends the bar again, you know, Ponderslot not afraid to spend that bar to kill. Even though it was like a sliver, um, he was more than okay with just getting rid of the kill. <laughs> Last time this was pretty heavily in uh, Yuri's favor. Right, right. Let's see if Sloth can make the right adjustments. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't convert. Oh, punish the roll. Rolls into the corner, still doesn't get punished. Yeah. Nice fireball to catch the tackle. Ooh, and the oh, deep. Oh, no. no. That, that is absolutely a misinclude. That is dead Iori there. Costly, costly mistake. Yeah, I definitely think uh, if Jub Jub can find the rhythm on the kill combos, just find the way to get the damage in, I think uh, that'll give him a significant boost here. But for now, the score is 2 0. Uh, I have it as 1 1. Apologies, guys. Reflect on the fireball. Yeah, I think that's the first we've seen in this set. Pretty much even right now. Who doesn't quite get the full combo? Oh, what a JC. I'm surprised at how good of an air to air JC's been. Oh. oh. Little spaghetti. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, nice. EX dash through the fireball. Yeah, I, cross out. I, I forgot that she even had that as a tool for fireball. What a roll. Oh, the Wait. DP. I think that I was think a safe jump. <laughs> it doesn't... Add, if it was, it was mistimed. It didn't it say punish? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah that's possible. Either got hit or it might have just been chipped. Oh yeah, true, true. He was very low. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Jub, Jub Jub playing a little too defensive, given his health. Right, right, yeah. Definitely wouldn't have been Harmon going aggressive there, just a couple more damage in. Practically even. Who catches the duck? Oh, but doesn't punish further. Oh, little, little tricky reset there from Slaw. Uh oh. Oh, this should be big. Oh no. The... Yeah. I think some of the nerves might be getting the jub jub. But he lands the big combo there. No, but oh. messes up. <laughs> yeah, another oh, another chance. But, you know, two bars is plenty for you, I'd say. So it's not it's not over for him. Oh, dear. Oh, oh this oh, is bad. No, but that, that's going to be big damage. Yeah, this is really bad. One touch from death, essentially. 
Let's roll out of the corner. And spends the EX to close it out. Yeah, it keeps it nice and simple. Um, he's gonna need... Yeah. Gets a nice chunk of life left, but still pretty much working on 60% health. And just keeps getting clipped by uh, all these hop resets. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shermie's jump oh. CD. Uh. <laughs> oh, there's oh, a shatter strike. There's shatter strike. <laughs> the first we've seen of it, like the the fact that I like I I personally forgot about it, and if I forgot about it, I I have to think that Jump Jump probably forgot about it as well. Um, regardless, though, Ponder Sloth. Nice three to zero to his name. Congrats. So our next match will be um, Rig Jace versus Sarah the Hero. <laughs> Wait. Sorry guys, we're just resolving a um, miscommunication. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the match day so far. Um, what's been your what What's been to you the highlight of our match day? I, I mean, I know there's been like a lot of, you know, fireball wars, a lot of Iori stuff, but what do you think's been like the most uh, like compelling portion of what the players have brought today? I think. Uh, just like the resilience for, of a lot of these players, like I think we've seen a lot of sets like start off like maybe they're one-sided or uh, a player will get a pretty large lead in the set um, off of like uh, very slim wins and uh, everybody like essentially like staying in it and continuing to compete yeah like exactly. you can see it with like sloth versus Vomio Mai. i think even before that like i think in sloth's other set i forgot who he was playing though mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i think it was uh playing so many sets it's hard to keep track yeah for sure i think it might have been against uh let's see who did he face Dang. Yeah, all I can see is Omeo Mai. Might have been Kento, actually. Mm. But yeah. Okay, next up is Sarah the Hero versus Siano. Um, I don't think these two players have played before, actually. Um, just in general. It's funny, because they're both from UCLA. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I'm, I'm a little surprised by that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, um... I know for sure Sarah plays Dinosaur, Dolores, and King. I don't know what Siano plays, though. For surprise. Oh, okay. Isla Gisiri. Actually, the, okay, the Isla makes sense. I think he was asking for Isla tips. So, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, this should be a good one. Um, now, funny, this is, except for Sarah's team, his entire team, in fact, um, all the characters on Siano's team we've seen on this match day so far. So, pretty interesting. 
at least we could see some fresh mm. faces. <laughs> and we, we immediately go into the fireball war. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad Sero cut that one short because I was about to fall asleep. <laughs> well, don't get don't get too ahead of yourself. Yeah, yeah. It's still happening. Just a DP through it. He's with DP, not exactly the best uh, tool for that. Right. He messes up his ender. We go right back to full screen. Oh wow, going way up in this, way up in the sky. Yeah. Uh oh, Sarah not blocking on wake uh -oh. up. I think he was trying to go for a wake up throw, both times. As they say, the third time's the charm. So down goes Isla. Oh wow, it's just <laughs> raw EX Tatsu yeah. catches them jumping. Yeah, I like the guard cancel. Create mm -hmm. some space. Oh wow, just the meaty Quisty. It was a carry super though. <laughs> Put Sir right back in the corner. Mm -hmm. Conversion off the job and say, you know. This is another parry. And closes it out with the Rapukin. And now, time for something completely different. Yeah, dinosaur we haven't seen so far. Oh, and just ro roll straight <laughs> into the command grab. Yeah. Yeah, nice confirm off the jab. Yeah, indeed. The roll into SPD is the Sarah special round start. It's the Sarah special, I like that. <laughs> oh! Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I did not know that was a thing. Or maybe that I was out of range. It might have been a spacing thing. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I, 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 cannot, I would not be able to believe that that's like throw invincible. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. Everything's up to the Yuri. Mm -hmm. Yuri with meter is a scary beast. But so is Dinosaur. Oh shoot, spends all the meter, but... Oh, oh. but that's the... Oh no, but it gets caught anyways. Okay, that's actually so funny, <laughs> that, that meaty. <laughs> Ooh. One, more, one more grab. Oh. oh my goodness, just goes through the super. DPs. Oh, oh. <laughs> I respect it, but yeah, that <laughs> that's so yeah. funny that I went through that. Yeah, I definitely say Sarah's dinosaur is his best character. Just uh, having played him and also having watched his sets in the past matches. Um, got to believe grasp. it. Mm -hmm. And it also fits his play style really well. You know, he likes going for the little uh, the things to throw you off with the Yomi. You know. Um, things that you wouldn't expect. Round one. Ready? Oh, hit by the overhead this time. And, uh, already an aggressive start from Siano. I think that's actually what he's going to need to do here. Mm -hmm. Well, makes the DP. Doesn't get the biggest punish, but small one nonetheless. Yeah, solid enough to at least keep up the damage loop. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh. oh. If he had spent EX, I think that would have been it. If he gets hit by the jump in. No conversion, Ooh. though. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I think he was trying to make a read on a jump, Sarah was, but. Yeah. Didn't entice it, and now we'll, we'll be the round start this time. Oh! Here just, just, just mashes the auto combo. Mm -hmm. Easy conversion. 
Yeah, you know, sometimes it's hard to convert from far LP, so... It makes sense. I think tier on the 2C. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, I think Siano is trying to bait a wake up SPD. Oh. Oh, mind the confirm yet. Yeah. Ooh, with the jump grab. Faces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the thing about that grab for those of you watching from home, um, I believe it hits standing opponents only. I don't, I don't know if it hits crouching opponents, but regardless. Oh, whoa, whoa, what is this? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was the hardest to read. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just out, out of the spacing. Oh my goodness, that was a strange animation. Yeah. Okay, back into there the corner. Back into the corner. Do the parry super though. Oh, nice jump. Oh, nice bait on the SPD, but it doesn't give us full punish. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, what a cool. confirm. Okay, that's what he wanted. Finally, finally lands the conversion. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, okay. Good punish. Yeah. The double lights. So, Dinosaur sends away. Now, this is a good opportunity for Siana to steal a game here. Um, Sarah's Dolores, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty solid, but definitely not as biggest area of comfort, so. Siana gets these few hits in here. He definitely give himself a game. Give himself a game. Oh, but. Yeah, good, good confirm. Yeah, and then the chip set up here. Yeah. Seals it with spending minimal meter. Mm-hmm. Where well, I'll just round start demon float. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't spend all of the bar, but it gets a good punish on the DP nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Trades with the fireball. Oh. Through the overhead, but no, no uh, max cancel. I'm actually not sure if that even is max cancelable. Yeah, because probably air I think because the airborne is probably not. <laughs> no. the, the current confirmed turned into oh. a frame trap. Oh. Uh, oh, oh. Does it again? Oh. Oh no! Bad punish. Oh, good mash. One touch. Oh. Oh. Spaghetti. Ooh. Wow. I think you made Sarah flinch there <laughs> with that what command grab with. So a very close and intense, but um, uh, a game taken from Siano, but he's going to get himself on the board tied up one to one. And I think that, of course, the, the key in that um, in that game was eliminating the dinosaur um, with uh, what was the second character? Geese. Geese. Yeah, with the geese. That was very important. Round one. Ready? <laughs> I think the more aggressive play from Sayano has paid off a lot. Yeah. The, fir the first game he seemed a little too content with just uh, kind of just blocking all the fireballs that Sir was throwing at him. Right, right. But now, he now he's being more proactive with his movement. Mm -hmm. Trading with fireball like that, jumping. Yeah, and the jumps have been great too. They're, they're not jumps without an aim without yeah, a goal. Yeah, They're, they have purpose. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice block on the crossover. Conversion. Ooh. Ooh, but no punish. Saiyan is scoring himself here. Oh, what a Ooh, DP. DP. Oh. This is the super... Oh, no! I like the idea, though. I think the, I think the idea was... Uh, solid. Let's see. Ooh, the overhead, not enough to close it out though. One touch for both of them. Oh, nice double jumps. Oh, tricky movement. Oh, oh my goodness. The... Clutch, clutch. Yeah, <laughs> that got antsy there. <laughs> it was 
like a triple jump from Isla. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, hitting Sarah with a little bit of some trickiness of his own, but that doesn't mean anything when you get SPD'd like that. Yeah. Isla taken to the depths of the ground, so now Geese. Oh, oh wow, the whiff CD. Yeah. <laughs> Jump grab. Ooh, and there comes that counter super once again. Yeah, three for three on those. Yeah, definitely not afraid to throw that out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh wow, just just lugging through there. Yeah, these jump CDs are great. Turns the bar. Power knockdown. Oh my goodness, he oh went God, for that again. super counter again. <laughs> yeah. That's confirmed. Ah. Oh. Oh no. Oh, but again, the whiff CD. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Both players are just saying no on Wake Up. <laughs> Nobody is blocking. Yeah, no. Blocking doesn't I do will, any damage. <laughs> yeah. I will use every single option except block. Yes. <laughs> To DT. Spells trouble for Siano. Nice crouch. Catches him in the air with the uh, 2 and 4 fire bro. Yeah. Not yeah. much dinosaur can do about that. Alright, so last characters, both of them are down two. And uh, we saw a little bit of what Dolores could do last time, but. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but just the raw round start super. <laughs> I'll never see it coming. <laughs> yeah. Nice stand CD. I like to see it. Your stand CD is actually underrated. I think it's really strong of a button for how seemingly stubby it appears. Ooh, jumps over the super that time. But no punish. Yeah, you probably need to jump with the button to get the punish cleanly. Oh! Sarah's just taking these sweeps. Yeah, and the Farsi late hit Farsi, in fact. Don't think he was expecting to be hit by it. He probably was going for a wake up throw. <laughs> Alright, so, so far, a decent comeback from Siano, and um, I, think I think Yuri's been. I mean, actually, all of Siano's characters have been putting in a fair amount of work to, you know, uh, get these wins so far. It's it felt it's felt like a team effort appropriately rather than any one character caring. But of course, mm -hmm. it all starts with the point, and I feel like Isla is doing a great job. Winning that first point war was definitely a huge factor. Yeah, definitely. I think she's he's uh, he's won the point war these past two games, and they've both led the wins. Mm -hmm. Rolls out of the corner. Yeah, timing those raw rolls can be difficult, um, especially if they don't cancel the move they did. Oh, guard crush. Ooh, nice guard crush. I was just going to say, I'm guarding a little too much. That was good recognition. Um, got a good check of damage. Mm -hmm. Nice block on the overhead. Good punish. Oh my goodness, Whipsies. Any, any, anything would have chipped out from there. Yeah, Sarah was a bit fortunate there. Had that just been out of range, full punish, you know, which <laughs> would have led to further pressure in the corner. You almost had the punish, not quite though. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my ooh, goodness. He went for the super. <laughs> Honestly, if that hit, I would, I, would, I would have lost my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next layer of Yomi. Okay, this is going to be good damage. Oh! Doesn't go into the full round, but it takes mm -hmm. the end nonetheless. Yeah. Oh my goodness, will this work? Oh, the command grab? Oh. No! Man. I think he, he was already sweeping. Yeah. Before the super flash. 
unfortunately. I respect the effort, though. Yeah, yeah. I respect the attempt. <laughs> yeah, some good ideas here, but... Oh, now I see that... So now I was already down to this last character. This is actually not good. Um, no, it was definitely not good. Yuri definitely can make this happen, but it's still, like... You have to get past the dinosaur as well. You have to get past the dinosaur, but I also feel like... Uh... The, the way that Sarah's been playing King is gonna force uh, for Sayano to spend meter to win these fireball wars. Mm -hmm. And yeah, although Yuri does have fair fireball tools, they've they have they have got to be. What? Okay. Sometimes DPs in this game are so weird. Like, I've seen Iori's DP have, like, one hit and actually be punishable. But then Yuri's DP oh, just yeah. pulls them in. <laughs> and Sarah's just been so consistent with those jab confirms. Yeah, he really has. Oh, been. SPD's. <laughs> No He's still able to punish. Matter, though. <laughs> still able to punish. Keeps. It's not gonna stop Sayano from trying though. Mm. Okay, wake but... up DP. Wake up DP. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't quite chip him out, but only takes the sweep for the punish. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the missing foot, but. All right, tied up two to two. So this has been a good close game. Um. Yeah, sir, like I, I agree with you. Like the point war is definitely determining the whole flow of this match. Um, yes. So Siano's got to like just go back to the drawing board. I think I think actually maybe doesn't even need some new ideas. Just probably just has to go with what worked already. Yeah. Yeah, you know, just needs to utilize these tricky movements to maneuver around these uh, fireballs. Mm -hmm. Because it seems like a lot of the time he ends up either getting clipped or is too content with just blocking, and it ended up uh, costing him a lot of chip and guard bar. Oh yeah, that guard bar and, especially. Mm -hmm. But now, but now we're seeing it a lot more. We're seeing. Uh, a lot more tricky movement with the with the air dragon kick. Mm -hmm. yeah, Siano definitely knows his options on Isla pretty well with regards to like just navigating, especially in the air. But it's not looking good right now. No. It's in the corner. Good, great roll. Nice roll. Lock on the overhead. But. Punish, punish. Oh, ah. oh, a little too far to get the close C. Yeah. We could confirm in the far C, though. Oh my oh, goodness, wow. that was a that scramble so and a half. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> yeah, he was he's almost bringing that back, Siana was. And I saw a lot of those uh, uh, Oki's MS setups. He was actually walking just outside of Sarah's throw range just to make sure he wouldn't get wake up thrown. Yeah. Wonder if we'll see the counter super once again. I have a feeling it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> I feel it in my bones. Ooh, but nice ants here. Doesn't quite doesn't fade very favorably. Oh, one oh, for there. there it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one for it again too. He knows. Okay, okay. Oh, good punish on the air fireball. Yeah, so at least King is gone. This is going to be good news for Siana going to the dinosaur matchup, but he's got he, he can't really afford to take some hits from these SPDs from yeah. This is I don't think no, not quite. Oh okay. my goodness! Yeah, one more touch. Thankfully, dinosaurs' chip setups are awful, so. Oh, it goes for the full string. Okay, oh, I, <laughs> of I say awful, but then <laughs> got chipped there. <laughs> I guess as long as he was point blank. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, ambitious read. 
And yeah. up there, ambitious read. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's really trying to snuff out these jumps. Mm hmm. Hasn't paid off yet. Ooh, drops the combo. They take the punish, but. Still not completely respecting uh, these wake up throws from Sero. Mm -hmm. Oh. There was a nice conversion that time. There's mm -hmm. back into the corner. Mm -hmm. Oh, wake up buttons. <laughs> Nice answer on the demon flip. Oh, that, that might be it. It'll be close. One more. No, not quite. Oh, oh my goodness. He got I, frame trapped I by think, the EXDP. <laughs> I think he might have been trying to style on him there. Probably. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, tricky setup, but it doesn't quite pay off. Yeah, sometimes you just got a mash throw. <laughs> okay, yeah. so. Good composure kept by Sero. He's gonna take it over Siana three to two. Very back and forth. Um, no reverse sweep. No, you know, utterly, uh, you know, steamrolly comeback. But it was a nice chess match, so to speak. I enjoyed that one. Um, definitely looking too. forward to see more of those two players. But for now, we shall move on to. Um, okay, so we're on slate three, which is our last slate. Thank God. I'm. <laughs> I'm running out of energy here. Um, but we've got Ocean Matt versus Rig Jace. Sure, uh, I think Rig Jace said... Ah, oh, wait. I think Rig Jace said he's not available because he misinterpreted... That was that was what I was reading earlier. Yeah, I think I think you're right. Yeah, okay. So we can't do that one. Um, so next is Charles and Alago. So Charles we haven't heard from yet. So it's actually uncertain whether they'll be able to run this one. But let me check in with them. Oh, perfect. Okay. It would it would have been nice to see that uh, that dinosaur grab. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when in between the hits of the EXDP. Yeah, for real, that would have been funny. I guess he's just too airborne or something. <laughs> All right. So next is Charles versus Alago. So actually, this should be a good one. Both these players play pretty avant-garde characters. Um, we'll see the dinosaur again. I can guarantee that. So yeah, this will definitely be our last block of matches. Um, basically, the last one will be Ocean Mat, One Regret Beetle. <clears throat> Approaching the four hour mark. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Thanks for sticking with us. All right, here come the players. So um, I, think, I think actually Charles also plays Haomaru. Um, he's a cool character. Oh. Mm -hmm. And Alago plays basically team I want to grab you. So it's like Angel, Ramon, and... Uh, mm, I might have messed that up. Uh, maybe it's not Angel. But basically he plays Ramon and like Shermie, I think, with some other character. But yeah. He has a, he has a type, is what you're saying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he, like, he, likes, he likes putting hands on people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Which, you know, it's respectable. The, I think the suplex style or, you know, grappler style characters in KOF are really cool. Um, they're, yeah, they're, they're all very unique. Yeah, yeah, they're unique and they're progressive. They're not too tunnel visioned on the grappler archetype itself, so it's always a breath of fresh air. Both players taking the time with the character selections. And what do we I'm see? Real, though, I can tell you the first thing about Ramon. Yeah. Uh, all I oh. know is that he had, he had some tricky, uh, like, uh, like dash kind of like off the top rope kind of uh, grab setups for strings. Yeah, exactly. And he actually has quite a few. Yeah, very El Forte ish, actually. Yeah, he's got a lot of frame traps and um, like stance cancel sort of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, whoops, let me fix the score scoreboard. 
Okay. So Charles versus Alago. I don't I don't remember Charles playing Joe last time we saw him, so this is probably a new pick from him. Lego doing a pretty good job of navigating these uh, fireballs from Joe right up the gate. Yeah, he came with the plan. Um, he, he He's picking these jumps at exactly the right time. It's not like they're too preemptive, but they're not too reactive either, such that... Yeah. Uh, you know. Same thing with these uh, Hatsus from Sure Me. Mm -hmm. Kind of launch her at just the right angle to fly above the fireball. Ooh, but we ended up getting guard crush. Yeah, fortunately it was a bit of a... Unex like, I, I, I don't know if Charles was fully ready for it, so... It's unfortunate there. Oh, okay. Alago's gotta calm down a bit. He doesn't want to let this get... Yeah. Faster. Oh, beautiful. Sure, there's the top once again. Yeah, yeah. Timed it for a punish too, not just a way of getting in. So, Dinosaur of Charles, um... Ooh, wow. The strip CD, Edgar. Oh, Ooh, it doesn't quite get to confirm, this would be big. Oh, no, oh. It doesn't, it doesn't get to the proper punish. Yeah, he went for actually, I think that's the one frame punish. Which is not always necessary, I think in that case you can definitely punish with the close normal. A little too early on the grab there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice jump out. <laughs> Counters with their own grab. Yeah. 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 playing this match really well. Yeah. Yeah, Lego's like been playing fairly patient. Ooh, but this might be the last Probably. of Shermie. Yeah. Ends up having to spend the bar, but the damage has been done. Mm hmm. You always appreciate seeing, you know, especially Dinosaur not having the best chip options from that full screen range. So. Ooh, wow, nice punish. Oh, and Ooh, Kamba looked really the, good. He's got the big damage. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, a little too early on the SPD, though. Doesn't quite kill, though. Mm -hmm. He's trying to petition for these uh, first C confirms. Yeah, thankfully Farsi is cancelable now. My goodness. Can't believe it wasn't for a time. Oh, what oh. a grab. <laughs> <laughs> Had the read there. You know, I have a feeling these two have played each other before. They're both from UCI, which I didn't point out at the beginning of the match, but mm. yeah, it definitely feels like we've played each other before. I'm gonna be surprised. See if Helmer can take a chunk out of this Ramon that's currently just going wild. Yeah. Oh, one hit super. Ooh, the one hit confirmed. Nice. Third strike, baby. Doesn't doesn't spend the any more bar. But to be honest, I don't even know if he would be able to go further. Nice DP though. Ooh, wow. Tried to bait the wicked throw maybe. Yeah. Too slow on the punish. Chip setup, but okay, almost there. <laughs> okay, that was nice. He waited for Alago to, you know, kind of hang himself there. He made him even spend half the bar, so it seemed worth it there. All right, so <laughs> this dinosaur color, my goodness. <laughs> Ooh, nice jump over the armor hit on the SPD. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice hand air. Good hand air. Ooh, wow. <laughs> the armor hit on the 2C. Yeah. <laughs> right off of it, though. Oh, again. Oh, but there it is. <laughs> okay, that was a good DP. It's well timed. Oh, that dinosaur good might be a dead one. Oh, my goodness. Cash out. Yeah, good stuff from Charles. You know, it didn't look like he had the advantage going into that final anchor match between Dinosaur, um, but Alligator just couldn't find an opportunity to escape the corner. Um, I think he was looking for the SPD at the end as well, and it got full jumped. Mm -hmm. 
he did land like a few hits here and there like obviously like charles was really dominating in the corner with that hop reset pressure mm -hmm. and he ended up getting clipped with like 2c every now and again but like those few stray hits didn't really add up to much and they didn't lead into more damage yeah exactly mm. What's the profile with the 2B? Ooh, just, just out of range from the grab. Getting chipped out by these fireballs. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's back in the corner. <laughs> Wake up DP, yeah. <laughs> So patient, just by to a fall, as you see, getting guard crush yet again. Oh, mm -hmm. but just mashes up, bro. Okay, what's the setup? Oh, Set it. wait, actually, yeah, I thought you were able to get a save jump, but maybe not. That that one looked like definitely not, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure about on the EX. Mm -hmm. He might have, he might have full jump on that too. Yeah, it's possible. Okay, so Ramon versus Joe, you know. Joe didn't have to deal with these fireballs last or excuse me, Ramon didn't have to deal with these fireballs last time, so. A good block on the DP. Yeah, it Ooh, like... Up the combo, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, it looks like we won't have to deal with them after all, for now. Mm -hmm. We'll have to send this dinosaur extinct. We'll just run straight into the grab. Does it again. Give me another one. Oh. There we go. Throw loops, throw <laughs> loops. Cute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is a lot of damage. Wow. Oh my goodness. That was like. That was meterless, wasn't it? Uh, it was half a bar, I think. Half a, half a bar? Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. That or maybe, crazy. maybe, maybe one bar, but he got back half a bar for sure. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Ramon, no chance to breathe once that first hit got going, and now we get the dinosaur wow. mirror. This should be a treat. Dinosaurs are not extinct. <laughs> <laughs> nice jump out. That's the meter, doesn't spend it. Your nice throw on the cross mm -hmm. And also had the read on the Abra. Oh! Ooh, nice kick. Yeah, so the EX1 moves Dinosaur forward just a little bit to get him in range of that SPD, and so it was. Um, so, great recognition. And unfortunately, this Dinosaur has zero bar. <laughs> One bar. But yeah. Yeah. Definitely gonna need to be careful of these. Uh... Oh, goodness. Yeah, that Harmo, I think it's JC. Doing it pretty early allows for that fast overhead, but you can't really convert off of it if you do it that early. Mm -hmm. He's playing Sam Show right now. Yeah. He's not, he's not, he's not playing KO, he's playing Sam Show. Oh, spend the climax? Is he's that just, dead? I don't. I'm gonna say no. Will it kill? Will it kill? <laughs> oh, my oh my goodness. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. send, send that I, to Sage M, guys. I, I lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send that to Sage M if any of you uh, are watching. <laughs> What the like? That was absurd. <laughs> I I don't, I don't even remember how much health dinosaur had, but that did not look like it was supposed to kill. Regardless, though, two zero up goes Charles, and now I have to say, this Jeremy has to get rid of the Joe right away. You know, just I think I think that's where Alago started gaining those advantages in game one. Just, I think Alego's playstyle just this defensive playstyle isn't paying off for him. He just ends up ending up getting guard crush. Yeah, and this is the first time we're seeing some reward being gotten with the Joe. Doesn't quite get the full loop, but the enough damage has been done. 
Mm -hmm. Lego's gonna have to come up big here. Oh, it is a, it is a safe jump. Yeah, you just mistimed it last time. Okay. This Tatsu through the fireball. And after that dominating start, Lego's still in this. One oh, I say that. <laughs> yeah, no, I was feeling the hope oh, as one, well. One, one, one straight hit could have led to big damage. Agreed. And then just like that, it would have been even. But... Yeah, I think we'll have to start seeing more guard cancels or just preemptive anti-airs, because yeah. Charles is getting way too comfortable with these hot pressure. Yeah. Ooh, no punish. Oh, but <laughs> decided to wall jump out of the corner. Yeah, fair enough. Uh-oh. Yeah. Nine one match. Looking good. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Nice maneuver, but doesn't quite get the full conversion. Oh no, this should be tough. Yeah, he gets the combo right. Oh. Joe combos are very peculiar. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna say I don't think I've ever seen that route before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, but when in doubt, just DP. Yeah, this is gonna be quite, quite the, quite the mountain to climb for Dinosaur. Yeah, this is not the matchup you want to have Dinosaur fighting his Definitely. first uphill battle on. Yeah, it's like already Dinosaur struggles in neutral. Now he has to deal with the fireball character on top of that. Like, uh. yeah, you see, he's, he's having to make a lot of risky rolls. That's punish. oh no, that, yeah. That's oh that. oh no, but what? No, dang, he should have... No, guard cancel no. Yeah, yeah, guard cancel will through the yeah. climax. Yeah, he hasn't been, like, uh, using that those guard cancels in general, I think. I think that would really benefit, especially if he wants to block a little bit just to get some information, because there is, there is merit in, you know, having the defensive style that Alago takes on, but... <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> what the heck just happened? I think they both oh, went no. the same they thing. They did the same thing. Oh, but... <laughs> Too high. Oh my Aww. goodness, the same shape. Aww, no. Dang. <laughs> well, good games. Yeah, good games. Um, at least I, I appreciate seeing the dino mirrors, you know, catching a glimpse of how the dino brains think, but Charles, I think, has the better dino brain, at least for now. He'll take a 3 to 0. So, congrats to him. I, I, I actually love both of these players' teams. Like, I think uh, it's not just like that they're unique, but it's also like they have a theme. I think it's it's really cool to see. Like Alago's yeah. team has like the grab, I want to grab you theme, and uh, uh, Charles' team has the I want to I want to combo you and grab you maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so good stuff to both of you. Um, yeah. And let's see what's next. Um, I was definitely impressed by. It. Charles is how Maru anchor. Because oh, it yeah. really did seem like like he would flip his playstyle on a dime where he would harass he was harassing Alago like with the hop resets and the jump C. But then at the same time he would back off and just kind of throw out like far A, swiping the sword and then landing the huge uh, Farsi confirms in the super, like he's playing Sam Shell. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I, I think I think uh, he played he played Haomaru the way I think should be played. Probably like you can, obviously you can play aggressive with Haomaru, but his buttons aren't the fastest, so it's just risky sometimes. Um, so having that you know glass cannon damage is really important. All right, so our next match is Alago versus Connect.
All right, so I think both players are just getting ready to come in and uh, connect. Was um, Rugal, Isla, Shingo. There we go, Shingo. Yeah. And UCI has got some cool teams. <laughs> yeah, not. I mean, I feel like you definitely see a lot more Rugal now post patch. Oh, that's true. He's, def true. he's definitely not like a common pick, but it's not. He's not completely uh, out of the meta. It seems. Right. Right. Yeah, I think Isla, back in the beta, people were, you know, kind of selling her basically like, oh yeah, this character will probably be good. But as it goes with like her sort of moveset, it's a lot harder to assess like the true strength of it at that stage where people don't really know the measures. Yeah. Um, whereas, you know, as we can see now, not really many people play her. I think she's still pretty solid though, um, obviously. Uh, it's you know, potential. Yeah, yeah, it has potential is a good way to describe it. Um, if you if you're not familiar with her gimmicks as it goes with like on hell with those characters, um, she's definitely a lot stronger. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I feel like her like the the main pull for her is like her kind of like like reset potential with like her like her air movement, but. It feels like she kind of gets outclassed by characters like, say, like Bijanae, who has <laughs> very strong tools plus uh, incredibly like annoying air movement and the ability to get big conversions off of it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. She also, her DP is just awful. Yeah, it moves <laughs> it's, her it's, too far it's forward. So, it's too far forward and it's way too slow. It's like, oh, I think yeah. her, I think, I think her heavy DP is like eleven frames. Oh, what the? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's, it's like, <laughs> I think in terms of like start, hey, I'll, I'll, let me, let me dream cancel, uh, fact check myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I think like out of like her three DPs, it might be like the worst out of the whole cast that, in terms of just like startup. Sorry, I'm taking a look at the response. I don't think he's responded yet. But yeah, yeah, the startup uh, <laughs> seems like yeah, the easiest her, thing to safe jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So her quote unquote anti-air dp is 10 frames her heavy dp which is like her full body in one is 12 frames and then her ex dp is 14 frames so <laughs> 14 it's four, like, she has a 14 frame dp you heard that right what the, the there's not even a point in using it at that point like they do <laughs> by the time like they they can meet you potentially even recover in time <laughs> to block your dp almost if, yeah, if they like uh, time it properly <laughs> uh, hopefully smk addresses that because uh, that is that's a little much agreed right, especially so when you have characters like i think the fastest in the game is like four frames mm -hmm. all right so uh haven't heard from connect um this is his last one, uh, so we'll probably pass over this one and see if we can circle back over to the next match. Uh, let me see if Storm Plane works around. Would it be? Yeah, it'd be you versus Storm Claymore in that. Well, case. I, I, already, I already, already played him. Remember? Oh, psh, yeah. <laughs> Dang. Okay, you versus uh KSA. Whoops. I already played him too. 
Oh, I, I totally just messed up the schedule this time. I'm so sorry, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think if, if, if Beetle's still around, I can play him. Okay, you haven't played Beetle. Okay, perfect. Oh, so we actually had... We didn't have as many matches as I anticipated then, but it's still... This is probably still... Good stopping point after this one and the connect one. And, uh, a lot of a lot of close matches. Yeah, I so, agree. So in a in a best of five set, that that tends to drag on the time. Mhm. Mm um, you're playing Ocean now, right? Or uh, you're playing One Regret Beetle, right? Yeah. You have the code already? Yeah, I do. Okay. Good look out there. Thank you, thank you. I'll be thinking, Millie. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, it's been a blast. Thank you so much for joining the commentary. No problem, it's fun. Glad you had fun. Alright, see you around. Alright, guys, so it's gonna be One Regret Beetle versus. Um, Ocean map. I think this is the first we've actually seen of Ocean Matt tonight, even though he's. So, oh yeah, yeah, okay. I'm not surprised about Ocean Matt's team. Um, Cronin Kyo Iori is sort of the embodiment of, you know, the hero team. But not just the hero team, but all of these characters are very, very strong. On the other hand, we have One Regret Beetle's team, which is Robert Bijanay Mai. Strong in its own right, but One Regret Beetle will have to do quite a bit of work to make sure that Cronin, nor these other characters in the back on Ocean Matt's team get started. So we'll see how the round start looks. A jump CD and immediately some corner pressure. This is not what you want to be. This is not the position you want to be in if you're Wonder Grab Beetle. But for now, we're back to neutral. Oh, I think he was looking for a cross up, but kind of uh, was like hang hanging in the air. Like, he wasn't sure which button to press there. Oh, wake up DP baited. Huge opportunity for Wonder Grab Beetle. And successfully secures the victory over the Cronin. So, important elimination right there. Uh, now, we'll see if this Kyo can start to turn the tide. But um, he has to still navigate these Robert Fireballs, which Cronin wasn't able to do as cleanly. Oh, nice jump. Ambiguous cross up that ended up being same side. Alright, missed the DP, but no problem. Okay, some guard cancels, but <laughs> wake up buttons for Wonder Grab Beetle. Oh, actually, I would have liked him to spend the meter there. This is definitely a success for Robert, I'd say. Successfully eliminated Cronin and also on top of that eliminates the Kyo. A great progress made here. Um, I'd definitely like to see if. Sorry about that, guys. Had to respond to a message, but EJK is going to be joining me to commentate the final match of our match day. Hello, EJK. What's up? 
good to see you again, or good to uh, have you here again. Um, are you able to see the screen good share? To be here. Yep. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, so both players. Yeah, sorry, just... I wasn't able to join earlier. But I had some work to do, but you know. Oh yeah, no worries, no worries at all. Um, happy, to, happy to help in the last match, I guess. Yeah, definitely. It's been it's been a pretty chaotic night, I must admit. I I messed up the schedule like really, really badly. Um, there were a lot of matches that were already played. Um, there were some that were just improperly ordered, but the players were patient, so but they understood. We also had some nice Rugal Ball as our intermission. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right, so uh, to the match we go. Uh, one regret Beetle actually took the first game. Apologies, let me update the score. Uh, the Robert corner pressure. Nice dive kick. Yeah, what I've noticed, this uh, string where he goes for that command roll into the dive kick, there's a gap in between it. Most players haven't been challenging it. Yeah, it's a little, like, because if you're not ready for it, it's, it's kind of hard to, hard to press buttons in between. That is true, that is true. Because a lot of his other block strings will will punish you if you're pressing buttons. So, mm -hmm. I think the thing that's crazy about that block string is like the, the dive kick in that context is like I think it's safe, right? It's safe, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's not punishable. But I think you can normal throw attempts to for Robert to steal the turn back. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Can I say answer. Corner conversions. I wonder if Beatles Robert's consistently been a problem throughout these match days. I remember the first match day as well. Robert was putting in a lot of work. Mm. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, what a block. Robert's not. I don't think in this patch is typically considered like necessarily a um, like really a high tier top tier character, but he's just solid all around. I feel like. Yeah, yeah, that's a great way to put it. Or like he's got no real like weaknesses, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was an interesting use of the jump C to air to air. Oh, great co confirm from that stand CD. Ooh, the anywhere juggle. Just <laughs> 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 keep the fireball. Yeah. Oh, Miss oh. Combo. On the verge of an OCV, but... Yeah, Ocean Matt still trying to find his way here, but I think. Um... Gutsy dive kicks here. Yeah. <laughs> but Ocean he Matt... really wants to get the dive kick, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. But Ocean Matt has a good presence of mind here. He's avoiding those dive kicks clean. Oh. Mm. That, that, that must have been an accidental. Command like, grab. Can't yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what? Maybe he was like trying to do these fireball super or something. On Yori? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't know how else you'd get like command grab there. Oh, true, true. Yeah. Because maybe he was trying to like reset pressure with the fireball super. Yeah, that's a decent way to get off, know. get them off you. That's true. Oh no! Oh, for once that movie gets beaten. And of course, it's by well, 6A. Well, it's Cronin now. <laughs> yeah. Of course, it's Cronin. If yeah. anyone can punish moves like that, it's Cronin. Indeed, indeed. Oh, that combo. Wow. That looks pretty early of a jump in. Oh, he's surprised too. Mm -hmm. I guess because it hit him crouching. But... Oh, yeah, good point. Okay, so... This is, the, this is the first sign of good progress from Ocean Matt, I think, we've seen so far. But, just as I say... Is that gonna be dead? Yeah, the DP link, good stuff. Yeah, I think you're right, this Robert's really pulling uh, a lot of... a lot of the weight. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Twice now I've seen him use the air-to-air -air jump C. I, I generally don't really think of Robert's jump C a lot, but I, I guess that's a good use for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice safe oh. jump. Is the Kotochi? Yeah, nice. Okay, Ocean Matt's looking a lot better in this match, so. 
Yeah, I mean, already getting the Robert down is a huge deal, right? Because, uh, you know, this Bijanae in my... Well, Bijanae is still a menace, but I definitely think one grip deals with Robert is the main oh. problem here. Yeah. Oh, what a DP. That was a punish? Okay. Oh, he didn't cancel that. EX Rucka. Oh. Dive kick. Oh, missed the open. Oh, a little bit early. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wonder Great Beetle likes doing that. Just raw. It punished there, obviously. But, um, it's super risky. Oh, the EX, uh, like, flip, spin, kick yeah. thing? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If I recall, I think it's like, it, it is a good anti-air, because I think it has like, invulnerability to air attacks, but... Oh, gotcha. Yeah. I think both the EX and the B version have that. But of course, they're both like, wildly unsafe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As they should be. The D version's safer, but it doesn't have any sort of invuln or anything. Because you can break it, though. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, the Iori sweeps every time. Okay, oh. nice confirm. That should definitely yeah. be a dead beach name. Dead. Yeah, you, dude, Iori that combos nice. are like so much damage now. Oh yeah, the fireball super being able to connect up now after the uh, the hit grab is like super good. Mm -hmm. Oh, empty low, and that could be yeah. very well be it. Oh no, this won't be. Yeah, wrong combo route, but it's fine. Some good damage. The next hit will do it though if it gets a good a starter or max. <laughs> nice close the answer. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like seeing the guard cancel. Just need get off her right get her off you oh my goodness what oh that should be it yeah yeah that was a great confirm great awareness there from one winner be was gonna take it three to zero over ocean mat that last match though i must say ocean mat was playing a lot a lot a lot nicer i feel like there was a lot of adaptation on his part yeah agreed the cronin getting rid of the robert or not getting rid but dealing a lot of damage to robert early on certainly helped out a lot um, so good stuff mm -hmm. to uh, both players but um, the victory goes to um, um, One Regret Beetle in the end. The sound is a bit delayed. Ah, oh, my goodness. So I, I know exactly why that happens, guys. And it's because my dock sucks. I'm just going to get rid of this dock. Um, this hub. Uh, the transfer speed is not as fast as it, it's advertised. It's been consistently happening like this. Um, if, it's, if it's not the dock, then it's YouTube. But I'm not going to blame YouTube because... It's been working fine in the past. Uh, regardless, guys, that does, I believe, conclude our match day um, for the time being. So as you guys probably understood from earlier in the stream, we did have a couple of other matches planned, but unfortunately we've run out of time for them. Um, we're at the four hour and 20 minute mark. So, um, you know, not not infinite time in the world. And as you can see, the clock stroke midnight, midnight on the West Coast. So. Um, that's all we'll have for today. But I hope you guys did enjoy the stream. We had a lot of matches along with the Rugal Ball, King's, I think it's called King's Festival, whatever it's called, King's Carnival. There we go. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that one as well. Um, and as for uh, EJK, would you, do you have anything left you'd like to um, um, add to it? Not not too much, no. Just uh, it's fun hopping in here for like a little bit and seeing some good gameplay. Yeah, cool, cool. And yeah, uh, thanks Omi Omai for um, watching, catching the stream, playing as well. Uh, thanks for all of you for bearing with the, the scheduling issues and um, the scrambles that we had uh, in and out of the game. Um, I hope I hope nonetheless that you enjoyed um, the KOF that we brought to you guys for match number four. So as you all should know, um, this is the last match day for round number two. The next match day, match day number five, will be held for match or for round number three, um, for which the pairings will be 
put up sometime during the middle of the week. Just uh, check with Siano on that one. Um, and last but not least, if you are interested in participating in either one of the little special activities that we've got going, which is either King's Carnival or the uh, the Trials of Execution, I believe it's called, if you want to show off your combo skills with characters like Hydern or Ash, make sure to check the thread for the respective um, activity and nail those combos down in the lab so that you can earn some Kula cash for some extra special goodies as part of our league. So uh, I think that covers everything that I wanted to mention as the last couple things. Appreciate you guys joining us for the stream again, once again and hope you all have a good evening. Uh, catch us next time for match number five next week. See ya. Later. <laughs>